Well, with all that said and done, hello everyone, welcome to Retro Book Club. This isn't coming out of Toon's mouth, what the hell? Toon's out for the- <laughs> Toon's out for the week. Down with a cold. Hopefully he cool. will be, uh, hopefully he'll be okay. I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine, just needs time to recover. Uh, if, you, if you're watching this, get well soon, Toon. Yeah, yep, yep, get, yep, get well soon, better. buddy. Sickness sucks. I miss playing okay. here, but get well soon, please. I know, I know because uh, sickness took us out of uh, doing RBC last week, but we're here this week, and we've got people. Oh no, people! Why did I invite oh, no, people we got here? One with a lot of sounds on the soundboard here. All right, but but not just any people. Some sadistic people. <laughs> Why? We, we are joined with Beak Beak eighty five. <laughs> it's okay, Miss Tron. I already got the Christmas cards. We are joined with <laughs> Flame Blood. Sup. We are joined with Paul Katsune. You fool! Yes, yes, I see you here. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> and we are joined with Veritasu. I bring good games and bad games. Let's see which one I bring today. Well, we're gonna find out soon enough because let's look at the order we've got for today. We're gonna be starting with. Oh, hey, Veritasu's game. Hey! That was first. Ooh. Second, Well, beak. at least we're getting it out of the way. Yay! <laughs> Third is gonna be Polk. Fourth Yay! is my game. And bringing up the rear, Flame Blood. So. I think this is only the second time I've been last in this list. Well, let's get started well, then. Could take it, please. Because our first <laughs> game of the night comes from Veritasu. Okay, so. I'm not. Uh, you may. <laughs> cast your mind back to a number of streams ago when I brought you a game based on a famous Akira Toriyama manga. Yeah, when you and brought us Dr. Mm -hmm. Slump, specifically. I brought you Dr. Slump. Well, I'm here to bring you another game based on a famous Akira Toriyama manga, only... Uh, it got, it got they, local. It got hit with localization, hell. Yeah, oh, because... No. Because... Oh. Who the hell knows what Dragon Ball is outside of Japan? We don't need to actually keep it the same, so instead we're gonna change it. We're gonna make it Dragon Power. Oh, Dragon Power shit. for NES. Why does it, it just look at this cover? I'm already getting knockoff double dragon vibes. As my earlier oh, statement was, I'm glad we're getting this out of the way now. <laughs> I think I've oh, seen boy. a bit of this game before, um, but I, but what I saw of it, what was this game called in Japan anyway? Was it just Dragon Ball? I think it was just, uh, it was Dragon Ball, like, uh, Shin no Nazo or something. Let's see if that oh, shows up. Because the problem with the, um, with the, uh, Twitch database is if, if uh, localization hit a game, then uh, it's usually going to have the Japanese name. So, for example, that's why Tetris Attack is not in the Twitch database and says Pound de Pawn. Or why Shatterhand isn't in the uh, Twitch database. And, uh, Shinron no Nazo. And this is the no stuff that was said, so that invokes confidence. I'm just gonna say it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> I would say I'm sorry, but that would be a lie. <laughs> you know, the, the yeah, sorry, you don't call well. The the little bit I do know of this game is that this game is mean. It it is. I mean, it's a NES game. This is true. When you when no, you worse. when you have an NES game, that usually comes with certain expectations, uh, like the game being unfairly difficult. Yeah! That's how this all seems to go hard. Bring in. <laughs> also, when he said uh, that there's some sadistic people here, I got no room to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I got no room to talk this time. Well, I think nobody has room to talk. Even those who. Okay, wait, a you definitely do not make me. <laughs> what do you mean? I've seen the good games! Didn't. <laughs> No, that you was know, the whole room fell solid that he knew, he knew the lie here. <laughs> you, you've brought in a few, few, uh, jail-worthy games. <laughs> Alrighty, well, okay, I'm... I, 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 I got a promotion. <laughs> well, folks, I'm ready to go when everybody else is. 
I am too. Can ready. anyone truly be ready? But yes, I'm I'm prepared. <laughs> he makes a point. Alright. Starting then in five, four, three, two, one. Dragon power. Turtle Hermit! Turtle Hermit! <laughs> ah god. Yeah, this definitely has the looks of what should be a Dragon Ball game, and yet Dragon Power. Well, that's definitely Bulma. Yeah, exactly. That is not Goku. <laughs> that's purple you Bulma. You say that. Uh, Bulma. That's her name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe don't go why, with that name. Why, why do we look like a monkey? Well, Goku based, wow. based off of uh, Wukong. That's why. Okay. I I found a cave that has things. I don't know what these things are, but oh, that's a bat. That's a bat that wants me dead. It likes constantly draining health. Oh, it's one of those caves. Oh boy. Oh yeah. You're hungry. Oh, hi guy. So, I mean, if Goku doesn't constantly eat, he dies. Yeah, I never. Oh god, I found it. I found a 2D I section. With that, I thought it was gonna die. Oh, is that what that number is there? That's my health, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the pa the pow is your health. Uh, oh no. Did she yes. get caught? Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Just sl very slowly getting caught. We have to go after and rescue Bum. I mean Nora. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Please, please go on. Oh yeah, and that health draining thing. Yeah, you don't get healed. You didn't get healed after the uh, after the boss fight. I'm I mean, noticing now. Nope. Help, Help, me. Help me, please. Help me. What do you think I'm trying to do, Bulma? Uh. Also can't attack in midair, it looks like. Well, oh no, I'm hurry! Because this enemy just dances around me, okay. What's well, such ass so nice? Well, what I was saying earlier, I never know what to expect from Bondi games uh, well, in the, shoot, in the NES era. Yeah, I do look... I think Jose might have worked on this, but I'm not certain. Because yeah, there's some other games I that have gone through on the NES that have uh, that have Bondi's name on them, including such wonderful travesties like uh, Gilligan's Island and Doctor Jackal and Mister yeah. Hyde. Well, I think Ooh. Bandai is a lot is a lot like LGN because I don't yeah, think it's, they it's, actually. Yeah, it's yeah no it's, yeah I know it's it's more of like they they published it or, or yeah. something to that effect. But like usually I I. Talking about games that I just in general see their name on the box art, and it's like, okay, that that uh, usually sets some level of expectations. Yeah, because they're usually not that concerned, always that concerned about, oh, are you making a good game? <laughs> We're making a game. We're using a license. <laughs> I mean, no, that's all right. I mean, that's debatable here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, this actually did get released as Dragon Ball in Europe. Interesting. Huh. Also, I don't know why. don't like Dragon Ball much. <laughs> also, I just want to send this. This is probably the happiest game over I've ever seen. It was. What was it's weird about the game over? Course. What was weird about the game over screen is that um, hitting start doesn't move you past it, but hitting select does. Select seems to be like a cutscene skip. A cutscene skip for the first level. Very important. Let's it go! We can't. Oh, I'm hang. sorry. Am I on a timer <laughs> to rescue her? I think oh you are, God. actually. When I mean, your health is slowly depleting yeah. over time, so. Fair timing! I'm watching V side of the Veritasu side of the stream, and I have to comment that Bulma's mouth keeps changing every time she talks. It looks so bad. <laughs> yeah, this, this game seems to be a magnet for good faces. Oh, good! I found Bulma's sandwich. <laughs> no relation to Jill's sandwich. Are you sandwich. sure that's a sandwich? Oh, yeah. What else put, could it possibly be? I don't know what you mean. Well, I heard originally yeah. it could be a rice ball. Though wait, that was a donut. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's stupider than that. 
I, I got hit with a bomb and I'm being spray. told to hurry. Oh, okay, so for this boss, you have to dodge a bee and hit him with the power pole. <laughs> the power yeah, pole. I, the power and I died pole. with my health drain. <laughs> yeah, I've got a little bit more health this time, but I'm unfortunately unarmed this time as well, so that's <laughs> that potential problem. Continue? Oh, uh, yes, you're going back to the first level. And no checkpoints. Yeah, we apparently didn't make it far enough to, uh... Find a, uh, checkpoint. I wish we had health drops. There are it health is. drops. They're there are random. health drops. Any piece They're of food though. you find. I've got, I've, I've got a new cutscene. Let's go! We can't hang around here. You must yeah. be scared! Hi, I am Hermit. Who helped yeah. him? <laughs> This has this game has a weird sort of feeling to it that almost like implies that it would be a bootleg, even though it's it not. Does. It has that. It does. And again, we've already had a Dragon Ball bootleg on here already. <laughs> Good old Dragon Ball. Come on, this was it me wow. that brought in the bootleg? No, no it was me. No, it was not me. It was me who brought in Dragon Ball. Oh, Nora wants a wants a prize. Okay, give me your sandwich. Hey, are you all right? You're... Uh, Why do you and Hermit want it? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> okay. Here. Hold up. And now it's time for another hilarious edit. Sandwich! <laughs> Have you obtained sandwich? We got sandwich! Uh. <laughs> Nice and look, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, it, I, don't wait! Don't tell me. Undergarments. <laughs> you are correct, sir. Okay, that was, okay. I'm gonna I know going. my Dragon Ball. I really wish I didn't, but I know my <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> yes. If you could believe it, that wasn't gonna be my Please. first guess. Though I think I might have been close. It's time oh. to meet Pudgy. My guess was gonna be vibrator because sandwich long. Surprisingly enough, uh, even the manga didn't get that bad. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Which Your is surprising because uh, some of the other mangas around that time. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, nev yeah. you, ne you never truly yeah, know what man. you're going to get. It, it, it's like a, something that we say you know, when we're when uh, we were vetting. Or when we were told uh, about vetting PC ninety eight, I think it was PC ninety eight games uh, for Kickerstyle is you you have to sign a pact written in blood that you have checked this game one hundred percent to make sure there is no porn. Oh yeah. Take me sharp X sixty eight thousand. So that means all the Sin of Alice games are out of the question. <laughs> all this. Well... Oof. I got no. I think the old school ones are okay. Possibly. Oh. I mean, I. I mean, I. Mo most of my experience with Valus is the uh, the PC Engine ports as well as the the Genesis one. So any other ports beyond that are outside of my wheelhouse. And the most I'm familiar with Valus is having to play Sid of Alice for Swap Four and. I mean, Sid, Sid of Alice yeah. doesn't really. Get too bad. At least not the Genesis one. I can't speak for any other versions that may exist of uh, Sid of Alice, which it still weirds me out that uh, Sid of Alice got re-released on um, <laughs> on Switch. Or well, actually, the whole the basically the whole Valus oh, saga. Sick. Wait, they they yep. released Sid of Valus and not the actual Valus too? No, it's a no. There's a full on like it's a compilation, a compilation. of Valus oh, okay, games, okay. and Sid of Valus is among them. It was just the first that came to mind because it's the game in question we were talking about. I think my funniest moment ever of Sid of Valus was when uh, Rusty and I discovered that it was made. It, that that's where one of the uh, John Tron Pokemon bootlegs came from. Sid of Valus is. <laughs> I mean, I, I somehow don't doubt, doubt that, because, uh, bootlegs, you you never really know what you're gonna get with bootlegs. What is here? Is it, is it health? Yeah. I think all I needed to get was 
me so. No, the no bootleg is gonna be more what the fuck than the uh, Lion King 5. If anyone's seen that bootleg. Oh, God. That one's particularly infamous for a reason I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna say. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. god! Oh my god, god! Do I, do I get, yeah. Do I really want context now? Not you. Sure. That's one of those things where if you want context, you're gonna need to go find Lion King 5. Particularly, like, without saying what exactly is what happens, go look up the game over screen for Lion King 5. Yeah, bootlegs and. and just, oh, yeah. what the hell, Game Over screens. Yeah, we, we had a I had a conversation about that in our Discord, it's like, Oh yeah, that one! Why did you have to remind me of this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or the, uh, forget which one it was, the Super Mario bootleg where the Game Over screen is uh, Mario dead with a piranha plant popping out of his chest. Uh, oh yeah! Style. Mario Space Odyssey. Yeah. Uh, Legs are uh, fucking fever dream. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's the point of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of the links can be good, like uh. The I think best my first. The best bootleg I can think of off the top of my head is Donkey Kong Five: The Journey of Over Time and Space. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That one's good for the name. Such, I think one of my, Such an absolutely ridiculous name. I think one of my favorite bootlegs, or my favorite bootleg actually, is uh, Pokemon Yellow for the NES. I, I don't think I might have mentioned it before. I, I've played a bit that one, and I'm like, that's one where I wonder if it falls into bootleg territory or just more deep, like, demake territory. Yeah, that almost feels like a demake. Oh, yeah. one moment, fellas. A good time because I'm not gonna play this game anymore. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, a cutscene, but I get the. Why? I think once I take my next death, I'm done with this. Yeah, I'm getting a cutscene, but I feel like uh, I I have four health, so uh, fucking rip me. Pudgy lives here. He does. <laughs> Mischief by changing his shape. Pudgy. He hates to share Pudgy. food with people. Yeah, that's totally what was going on. I'm glad I'm glad that we still call Goku Goku. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't change his name. But why if, if, you, if you beat him <laughs> If you be him, I'll give you ball. It's a deal. Oh, the English. Uh, also, I'm I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I did, however, yeah, that a lot. I did, however, make it to the next stage, so I did hit a checkpoint. Yeah, this game, I, I strongly advise against ever trying to actually beat this game. I've Man, gotten dead. close, but there's a point in the game where you no longer get any checkpoints. Like, yeah. not even between chapters. You die, you start over at, like, chapter 7. I think I prefer re-watching Dragon Ball. <laughs> that, that would be preferable, yes. The, the original yeah. one. Opposed to the to the remake of Dragon Ball. Right in the Kakarot's. I, I, I'm thinking we're, we're about hitting that point of, uh... We're good to stop this game, because we, we, we've been at this game for 14 minutes. Is, are, is anybody still wanting to keep going, or...? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, I mean, I've... I think... Yeah, I, I did not expect this to finish. <laughs> it's lasted longer. Yeah, I think we have to achieve their goals. I'm sure I, it lasted what, longer than Veron. Than... What, <laughs> what? I'm about to die anyway, so... What, what this game set out to accomplish? Miss? I don't know, but we saw what it is set out to accomplish, so that's a win. <laughs> Yay. I'm sure it lasted longer than he expected it to. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I uh, mean, it almost got to half. That's something, right? Yeah, that, that's a lot better than expected. Um, <laughs> well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna be playing Beak's game up next. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do I 
Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have that on here somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, so Tretrarch seems to like to crash every time I load up a game, even if it's in the same uh, emulation. I also have this. I am a gun! <laughs> I'm drunk! You don't have an excuse! So, I did find I some of that. the drunken demo sounds, but someone decided to put several of them in one file, and I can't separate them. <laughs> yeah, so I had to, to bite the nail on that one and not take the sound. Oh, well. I do have this, and I don't think I've messed with the, with the uh, volume of it yet. Scout vet, I am 100 meters from your location and approaching rapidly. On Scout that note, one. we're back for another game. <laughs> we got a game from Beak Beak. All right, there's only one way for me to really introduce this game, and Okami, I'm going to need your help with this one. Oh, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> I, oh nice. god, I, I had to pull up the script for it, but I, I know where you're going with it. You made him a script? No, oh. no, she, she did not make me a script, but I know what she's implying with this. Oh, oh boy. But I don't, but yeah, I need, I need to find the, the full dialogue thing, but... I wouldn't be no, surprised here, I'll, if she did here, make here, I'll, a script. Here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll start because I know what the first line is, at least, but the rest is going to be on you. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice I'm of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots oh, of spaghetti. So what game do we have here? On that note. Oh, Kelby, look! It's for retro achievements. Dear pesky yeah. players, the corrupt members and I have taken over the retro book club. For minutes, you are now a permanent guest at one of my. I recently made set hotels. I dare you to eat it if you can. We gotta save the players. Yep. And yeah. you gotta help us. If you nope. need if you need instructions on how to get through through the game, check out the enclosed emulator to which the game I submitted is Hotel Mario 2 for the NES. The money did. A demake of Hotel Mario? Oh, by the way, this box art, Ooh. I actually took the time to make this myself. Ah, very nice. Dang! Dang. I just threw shit together in five minutes. Okay, other than the box art, for the game... You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I appreciate this Mario that we have on the title screen. I'm just gonna take a. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's a cart fighter ass shit there. What are the odds that this will play better than the actual game? Right. Well, it's considering the base game that it's a hack of is actually decent. Um, yeah, if if you look at the intro, um, the intro is taken basically straight from Crazy Castle, from Bugs Bunny Crazy what, Castle. And that's now what the question hack is. Of. Now the question is, would we rather finish uh, the Dragon Ball game or this? Probably <laughs> this because I'd say, I mean, Crazy Cat, Elgis going by the original game, I'd say Crazy Castle is a better game. It's not stellar or anything, but... I mean, yeah, Crazy Castle is a perfectly decent little puzzle platformer kind of game. <laughs> so, Big Big, was this the announcement? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. not this. <laughs> the actual announcement is that uh, I got called today, talked to an HR from another area, and now you are talking to an employee of Target. Oh, nice. You, you, have, you have achieved employment. I've yes. achieved a better job than my current employment. Hey, if you're ever a cashier, you can sit down, depending on your location. I'm gonna be a uh, desk advocate, which means I get to help out customers and maybe do some organizing. Nice. That hey, you get to sit down. <laughs> All right, so so I I finally put on the the music for this game. Yeah, it is straight up the uh, the music from Crazy Castle. Yeah. Oh, I need a timer. Uh, I am ready to go when everybody else is. 
I am. I'm letting <laughs> him. Okay. Starting Ooh, in boy. five, four, three, two, one. Hotel Mario 2. I have another sound for how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this game basically looks. This is looking like it's basically a reskin of um of Crazy Re Castle in, in its entirety, which means uh the mushrooms. You need to get all the mushrooms in order to clear a stage. Yep. Um. It, you the level layouts look different though, so yeah, these the, are probably original ones. The safes are um. The, uh, the shells, there are items that you can pick up which uh, you can launch, there's also invincibility you can get, which some of those should be self-explanatory if you played a Mario game before. Um, you can't jump in this, so you yep. gotta, gotta be aware of that, and you gotta move He's around no accordingly. He's no longer Jumpman. And yeah, no, I think, I've, no I think every, every stage you beat um, gives you a 1-up keep you going for a little bit. Sometimes movement can be a bit clunky as well, depending. Yeah! Like, sometimes you'll be holding a direction, you're not gonna be allowed to go in that direction. All enemies also... Yeah, I noticed. If you're able to land a hit on an enemy, all of them die in one hit as well, which is, uh, which is nice. Neat. So it's not We're like you're... Doing a reef on after a while. <laughs> yeah, it's not like you, you stunned them temporarily. That shy guy snuck up on me. Eat vegetables. Let's get a mushroom again. Take out that Koopa. Maybe be a bit more ready for that shy guy. Oh my god. Go up the stairs. Where is that shy guy? There you are. Nice thing is, uh, once you take out all the enemies and when nothing else can kill you, all you gotta do is wander around and pick up all the mushrooms. Wait, what? shit music. Oh, hi, shy guy. Yo, know, it feels the appropriate that... Get him in. It feels appropriate that this would be used for a, a reskin ROM hack, considering the fact that the Crazy Castle series... Like, no, everywhere you go, it's got a different license. Yep. Yep, Garfield. Garfield region. Region. And Anthony, Roger Rabbit. It's also definitely like the the kind of game that um if if you were to make a ROM hack for Hotel Mario, uh this is like on NES, this is definitely the best like base game to use for it. I mean yeah, because, it's 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 on point. Yeah, like the the gameplay is not one to one between this and Hotel Mario, but it's probably the closest you're gonna get for any NES game. <laughs> I would also like to point out that the story of uh, why I chose this game is simply because I saw this in my, my retro yeah. human speed and thought, you know what? This, <laughs> so <now> the question <laughs> this looks like something yeah, great for me to say. So now the question is, uh, did you look at this game prior to this and knew it was uh, a knockoff, a, a hack of Crazy Castle, or were you going in cold, not knowing what this is going to be like? Uh, I think I just saw one video just because- Ah, oh, damn it, my star ran out! Yep, that'll get ya. Star doesn't uh -huh. last long. Oop. Anyways, uh, I think I just went into there with- Okay, I'll just, uh... Take a quick look as to what this is about and see how well I fare. And... and, and, and... And, and, and you play Crazy Castle, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Crazy, crazy Castle. Castle. It's Crazy yeah, have, Castle. Have, having beaten Crazy Castle one though, uh, the the graphics are throwing me off a little bit. Yeah. Because I, I, anytime, I mean, anytime I'm, I play this, I'm so used to how it looks and crazy. Oh, I'm I'm dead. Rip. I do like that they use the. Uh, the Mario 3 sprite as well, for, uh, for bugs. <laughs> Let's take this pipe up. Hey, if you gotta pick the best Mario, you might as well go for third. Uh, uh Mario okay. Game I've uh, played the most. Shit. Damn 
in trouble. Yep, I'm in trouble again. Damn it. Trouble here and there. That never happens. Goomba almost snapped me. No, those don't go together at all. What are you talking like about? I'm, like, I'm so used... Like, you're, it's so easy to just get yourself trapped. Yeah. In this game. Yep. Yeah, I almost ran out of lives already. <laughs> okay, get, get that mushroom. See, now now I've actually, like, juked around the, uh, the Koopas, so we might have a, a chance of clearing it this time. Are you? Why do you keep dropping that direction? Son of a bleep. Yeah, sometimes Mario will just kind of move on his own for me. Yeah, that's... <laughs> It, it, it's a particular problem when it comes to stairs, I've noticed. He, he drops off this yeah. cliff and he drops straight to the next level right afterwards. No way input, no nothing. Yeah, there's a certain amount of momentum. Ah, uh, yes. Mario gets played all... over its momentum. Because it's all block-based. Mario teaches momentum. Or tile-based. Quite much kind of... do for that mushroom. I, I was going to yeah. say grid-based. Would be yeah, another way to put base. it. Well, let's always take out one of these. Uh, maybe I should save that mushroom from la for last. Part of the challenge of this is also like looking at the map and trying to figure out which mushroom you should you save for last. Because like when you're going after a mushroom, you also have to consider that you're going to need to have to That's escape from it. that situation you got yourself into. So you may want to end off with the hardest one to get to because you'll have to escape from that situation. You just have to get the mushroom and that's it. You're covered there. That's exactly what I'm going to try and do here. Uh, this is just like a hot potato with me and these Koopas. That is the Crazy Castle experience. Mm hmm. Playing footsies with all the Mario enemies. Okay, oh, game. Can't jump on the Koopas either. Or you can't land on them from below. Can't just be like. Oh! Okay, I see Clarice on this, so. I have to wonder what happens when we, when we get to the ending. If the ending's gonna be modified for this game. It's gonna be Mario and female Mario. <laughs> female Mario! Maria! <laughs> now you just you know what? Now, I'm, now, now I'm, I'm gonna pull up some information for myself. Are you gonna look at the ending? I don't think there's information on the like the ending for the hack specifically, but if I were to look up a password to take me to the last level, oh so boy. passwords are the same. Yeah, I'm 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 working under yeah, the assumption yeah, yeah. that passwords would be the same. I'm not gonna use the password right away though. I'm gonna wait till uh till we get closer to wrapping up. And I'm just gonna play it normally until then, because the game is sixty stages long. So we definitely will not be uh beating the game. Not unless you're really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if the game's gonna last the full time for me. <laughs> I'm good at some puzzle games, not these kind of puzzle games. Believe me, this is a new experience for me too, and... I think if I'm gonna try any Crazy Castle game, I might start with the, uh... I... Game of that Koopa keeps getting me. I have beaten two Crazy Castle yeah, games so Koopa. far, the first two. There's a lot of Crazy Castle games. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and so many licenses too. And, and depending on which region, different characters for the same Crazy Castle games. Mm -hmm. Including Bugs Bunny, Wood Woodpecker, Garfield. Woody Woodpecker was the star of Crazy Castle 5, I know that. Yep. yep. Mickey Mouse is also one. Yeah, I can see this being a Mickey Mouse game. This sort of style, I guess you could say. Indeed. Alright, we're just gonna handle no, whatever is over it. here. This might not end well for me, but heck it. These terror graphics do not look good. No, you, you... They, uh... Hmm. It's in better it's days. 
It seems Mario <laughs> seems to want to go up or down stairs at his own will. Yep, dedicated yeah. to stairs. Words I didn't even see. Well, that sucks. I'm waiting. I am literally waiting for an opening to draw. Oh, fuck. That's an inconvenience. Drawing? Oh, fuck. Mmm, that, that sounds like not good. I tried to sneak around a Koopa and a Goomba, and I ended up landing sandwiched in ah. between them. I tried sliding under one, and he dropped down on me. Damn it! I keep getting sniped by these Koopas. Oh, You know what? Yeah. I actually have found the log play for this game, so I will go ahead and take this opportunity to screenshot what the game, what the uh, ending screen looks like. Oh, like you straight? Oh, you like you straight found a, a long play for for this hack? Yeah, because I want to see. You know what? I wonder what this looks like. Okay, I'm done. Yeah, here. <laughs> while I'm at it, uh, here I'll go ahead and grab a screenshot of what the vanilla uh, ending looks like. <laughs> I can... This is right, I might have to get some ice cream to make myself feel better. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, That's yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this in the Discord really quickly. Uh, this is what the ending looks like in the vanilla Crazy Castle. The not Hotel Mario version. Ah, uh, this was before Lola. Oh, yeah. And here is the ending of this game in comparison. Let's see it. There you go. Uh, that's not terrible. I was wondering if, they, if it was just going to end up getting left unmodified or yes. or something. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Flesh powered clothes. <laughs> also, fun yes. fact uh, before Lola Bunny. There were two random pink, uh, pink bunnies. Different bunnies. They were not the same one. They were two different pink bunnies. There was a yellow one. And then the basically just... <laughs> just just him dressed up. <laughs> like now. I, I mean, mean, yeah, that's... That's I Bugs Bunny, all right. Yeah, well, that's, that's Bugs for you. It generally yeah. always was what it be felt like. It... I'm a cos- I'm a cross-dressing icon, Doc! Hecking <laughs> <laughs> oh oh stairs! Stairs are the worst thing in Crazy Castle, in general. Also, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> also, I just want to say this much, I think Peach looks better here than she does in her original Super Mario World sprite! <laughs> That shy guy is just stuck on the stairs now. Yeah, yeah, you you better keep walking, shy guy. Ah, I tried to. This, this is a good time when before Mario learned how to be LJ. Such strategy. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's how we get through that Damn stage. It. <laughs> Sniped at the pipe. Ah. Stage 10! I love it, reddish. Have, have some root vegetables. Got rid of my problems. I hang out the... Uh... Actually, wait, let's, let's look at this. So that mushroom might be the one I want, I'll want to finish with, then. Starman here is gonna make, uh... Should make the rest of this pretty easy to do. Can't wait to go through his pipe and be greeted by Koopa on the other side. Can be like, no, we're good. Yeah, that didn't happen to me on my previous death. That's that's where I was like, nope, I'm done. This is currently the story of me right now. So how do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, there's just too many things you have to commit to in this game, basically, when you're making a move yep. of where to go. Because, so like, you'll go to a pipe, which is gonna take you all the way to the other side of the map, which means you can't see the other side. Um, and when you go in that pipe, you're committed to see to going to the end of it, which means, uh, if there's something on the, uh, other end there when you come out of the pipe, well, tough luck. Tough luck. So, so, too bad, so sad. Yeah. Okay, this is really obnoxious. The... 
Yep, I, I don't think I can get by him now. Yep, well, he's just gonna keep doing that. Welcome to hell. Hey, welcome, oh, you're stuck here forever. At least you don't have a time limit, I can at least say that much about this. I hope I didn't go in this pipe too soon. Okay, we're good. I wonder if they still have the equivalent yes, of the right. no carrot signs. What's up? I said, I wonder if they still have the equivalent of the no carrot signs. Might. From the original game. Probably. I forget what oh, they do in the over. original. Basically, it's it's a it's a gambit to where that's you can if you're lucky you uh, you get taken ahead like five stages. Yeah, uh, you die, yeah, yeah. Now it's coming back. Yeah, you, they can either take you forward or they can send you back. I only won the stage. Oh my and gosh, my password was S X E S. Are you trying to say something, game? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how uh, how far you have to get to to start seeing the no carrot signs. Well, in this well, game. Big B, considering the type of uh, content warning I had to put on my streams because of you, I would say the game's trying to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Tell me right. more. <laughs> tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, I I really wish. And this is more complaining about Crazy Castle than this hack. Uh, I really wish it had a um, a map function so you can look around. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be be very I, I I don't think I can emphasize it enough. These stages can be pretty massive. Yeah. It's crazy. I know. Oh great! There's two of them. I think I'm stuck. Mario, we're not getting that mushroom today, I'm afraid. They're just <laughs> too piled. Oh, no! Oh, no, there's a mushroom. Oh, shit. Oh, please, why did I do that? No! Oh. I want more of them in. I'll give it a little bit longer, but it, it, it sounds like some people are, are pretty done with this game. I'm definitely done. Yeah. I did my best with no regrets, as Pokemon always taught me. <laughs> and I thought I was a master. No regrets. <laughs> Sorry, I was eating a Milky Way. I'd suggest checking out, like, I'd suggest checking out the the uh, original Crazy Castle. Like, it's not going to be too different of an experience from this, I feel. Just uh, basically a sprite swap. Uh, but maybe you'll be surprised. Well, I know levels are different. I mean, yeah, basically a palette swap. All the levels are a bit more generic, we'll say. I think the layouts are different. It might be. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I definitely don't have complete memory of what the layouts of the original Crazy Castle look like, because I just felt they were generally, like, a bit generic. Like, yeah, they, I mean, they didn't really stand out too much to me. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna write out this life whether I beat the stage or if I die, uh, I'll stop the timer after that. Alright. This is a big ass tower apparently that I'm uh... so much education, blah. Wait, I get what this password's trying to tell me. Oh. It's telling me I put the C's in sexies. There you go. I beat your high yeah. score, Big Bing. Hooray! Yay! On that note. You we're gonna... we're gonna... We're gonna stop here. Thank you. <laughs> I just... Experience. I just noticed that Veritas and I have the same score. What, really? 27,600. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoops. Nice. And on that note... <laughs> Not bad. When we come back, we're gonna be playing Polk's game up next. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah! Get yeah, out to do it! Alrighty. I just realized something. There's something I'm trying to plan. What day does Halloween land on? <laughs> uh, how uh, let me check my calendar Tuesday. for Tuesday! Yes! <laughs> so I'm off on Tuesdays. This works out for me! Oh boy, what do you got planned? Oh boy. 
So I've been holding off on streaming Metroid Dread for a reason. Ooh. Now, and now it can be your Halloween stream. Yep. Because I couldn't do it last year, and it was already kind of late when I was able to start streaming Metroid stuff. So yeah. I'll probably do a combo, like, if I'm able to, I might do a full day uh, combo stream of the entirety of Fusion, and then as much of Dread as I can. By the way, BQ, your ah. stream went down, so y'all have to put it back up. Speaking of Dread, guess what I have on the soundboard? Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to make a Dread player panic! <laughs> yes, indeed! <laughs> What? Why do you think I got it? <laughs> yes. Oh. Well, welcome everybody to All Hollows Stream. There, there was a huge difference between playing Fusion and then f hearing that in Dread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, folks. It's time to play another video game. So this time around, we have a game from Polkatsune. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's what Indeed. you got. Well, you, you, I got a problem. Yeah, that, that's, whatever I'm on RBC, I have a, a certain bad habit of, you know, sometimes experience some, some quality games and bring it back here for, for to share the suffering. The, the, the problem for is that I've been put out of being co contested in Cosa Grande and I found a few, a new calling instead. You might say I've been shepherded someplace. I've been a bad film. <laughs> So, how do you feel about, uh, sheep? Oh no, GBS. not this. I called it <laughs> when we last talked, Polk! Oh no! I was gonna say, I like- I was gonna say, I like me some lamb chops. <laughs> You'll get plenty of those! <laughs> Bet you tell taught me a song about sheep, so... I think that's gonna be a fun one, though. Funny enough, VeggieTales yeah. taught me a hell of a lot more than any church did. <laughs> That's saying. saying something. That That's saying one. something. And I can say that! <laughs> I can say that too! I mean, I tried going- Then again, my folks and I didn't really go to church as much as we wanted, but, uh, I have memories of sheep. I have my family, I'm between all of the four main ones, so... Uh, there's, I think I've played this in Crystal killed. Grande. This guy, this actually gave, so there is a little bit of a story with this one, because this did get given out for, uh, for Kuso, uh, like a, a week or two ago, by Polk. So, <laughs> you got to, uh, some people got okay, to how bad is this experience game? this. This is definitely on the nicer side, and, like, it's definitely, oh, yeah. In, yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely in, like, that debatably bad category. Where it's like, it's yeah, in there more for the weirdness rather than being bad. Because I there's definitely a case to be made of it being a, a genuinely good game. Okay, you get a pass this time. Ball. Ball. Ah. You get a pass this time. Can't for wait now. Can't wait for, for us now. to start the game and then flame by the light and I'm a fucking liar. To totally haven't been working on uh, making different forms of Metroids and then my own Emmy just to send to people's houses. <laughs> 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 oh, you get a baby Metroid, by the way. Ooh. Big Baker did an alpha. Don't no take back. <laughs> what? I was <laughs> I was busy naming my sheep. What did I miss? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look forward to it. Also, nice to meet you. My name is Bleepbat85. Oh my <laughs> Alrighty, I'm ready to go. Uh, everybody else is. That's where it's gonna be. That's where it's gonna be. All right, starting then in five, four, three, two, one, sheep. Oh my God, B! Let's get that file. Okay, I'm going with easy. Made. Let's go to French. We oui. <laughs> played this game in Swap Five, so I remember a lot about this game. So, <laughs> how do you think I heard about this game? I have never heard of this game. Ooh, ooh. The, uh, uh. The, the lore for the game is completely bonkers. Seemingly. Oh, wait, I'm taking up to the spot. Hey, there's options, guys. <laughs> <laughs> also, enjoy the sheep uh. theater. 
Yeah, welcome to Insanity. Insanity Sheet Man. Relegated from more about massive to normal human. <laughs> and, and also, Sheep Man is here. Also, the. I am naming this sheep, or this collie after Tune. I want you to meet my new puppo, Toonie. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, so, this, so this is a game about herding sheep. We are sheep. As it should. Also, we all, sheep are a thinking breed. Also, all the sheep have unique names. Yep. There is grass to eat, warm blanket of straw, fences to protect us from any danger. Our life is free from any troubles. But are we really happy? Is there more awaiting us on the other side of the fences? Risk can be its own reward. Oh no, I haven't thought of a voice for Tuna. Uh, oh oh no, everybody, stop, you can't go past the fences. Was that a good tune? Uh, good now, no, 10. Oh, no further nerd. So no. <laughs> I'll be scolded by Okami. <laughs> Me. Okami Ranch. Actually, I'm pretty sure at, th at this point in time, <laughs> with everything that's happened, it's Tune that scolds Okami. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I mean, I'm yeah. usually the one who ends up getting yelled at. <laughs> it's Don't usually not race. the other way around. Beak dogs, so, so the large herd of beaks live happily in this big ranch. So, of note for sheep, um, the, uh, you only have to get so many sheep into the goal. You only have to get all of them. If you pause, you can see exactly how many sheep you need to get into the goal. Like, for this one, I've got, I've got eight sheep, um, but I only need to get two of them in. Yep. Uh, for be careful, because later on, the, the, those sheep, they're not too smart. They're, they, they're oh, yeah, there will be death survival hazards later. Survival aren't exactly great. There yeah. will absolutely be death hazards later. Oh, yes. And your sheep, oh, well, the sheep. they, they want to be lime chops. I need a refresher. Well, you'll all be glad to know I'm not deliberately yeah. guiding sheep I... into hazards. Well, that's because yes. there aren't there aren't much yes. of the way of hazards early on. <laughs> he knew I, exactly what I was gonna do there. Yep, yep. What do you think? <laughs> I need to look at the. Uh, we were talking about the lore in our Discord, so I have to go find the the PS One sheep lore because <laughs> it's something. Is that a thing? Right, this was originally PS One. Uh, there's yeah, there's a PS One version. Yeah. Oh. How much different is it? I think it's generally the same game. It's like the same gameplay, but there's more PS1 cutscenes. Ooh, cutscenes. I'm look I'm looking to try to find it in the uh history here. This chat. So in other words, it might yeah, take me a bit. You know what a zoom out would be nice. Press the L button. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Here it is. Here, it doesn't here. zoom out much. This is according to the backs of the the block. Uh, according to the back of the box for the PS1 sheep, they've traveled millions of miles across the galaxies. Their mission was simple: pose as stupid creatures and study the habitat. Soon, forgetting their mission, sheep preferred to enjoy the sunshine and wallow in the lush green pastures. Now it's time for them to return home. Oh boy! What? 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 Uh. Okay. Yeah. Now. Oh, apparently this is also released on PC. Now, if you want to see the intro for Sheep that we don't get to see here because we have the GBA version, I post it in the RBC room for you, and I'll post it in the uh, in Twitch chat as well. Oh, two yeah. is growing up so fast. I'm anyway, so proud. Back to video game. Back to game. How many sheep do I have to get in here? Two sheep. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad then. That should be too <laughs> bad. <laughs> Alright, come on. Sounds like some fast. I, 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 I think sheep. that thing I'm running across is the first thing that can actively kill sheep. Also, the game's not too bad either because it does have like instructions all the way through, you just gotta, you know, follow the signs. Nothing hard, right? Every stage is a tutorial. Yeah, how how hard could it be? 
And you get to see a general... Surprisingly, yes. And you do get to see a general map. The, uh... When you enter a, a stage. Uh... Oh, is this the one that teaches me about biting sheep? So that way I can basically carry them in my mouth? Yes, and also depending yes. on which dog you have, different strength, and uh, they'll be able to carry a different amount of sheep. Yeah, the one that I have uh, can carry two sheep. Yes. The faster one can only carry one. Go figure. Uh, let's get him through the- oh, Uh-oh! to get in! How did that sheep yeah, not get she... run over? Oh, one of those called Toast! I, I don't know the like I, I kind of wish you could make like a, a custom list of names that get randomly selected from for the sheep. <laughs> oh god. As much as I would love to, as much as I would love to name sheep after you guys, I do not want any of you to die, so I'm kind of relieved. <laughs> well, I think I just got a sheep that is literally named Coffee, so it's almost as if Toon's here, right. just not a dog yeah. but a sheep. I mean, yeah. I. I did save a sheep called Toast. I think I saw one named Mary and one named, but spelled like Merry Christmas, and one named Norman. Uh -oh. I, I, I think there's also like. I, I think during the no, map somebody like... had a sheep named like like Celery or something like that as well. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, this game ain't so bad. Yeah, it's, it's not so bad. Yeah. Oh shit, I have to herd more Maybe sheep. We've had worse, right? I mean, this is a very tame Kuso game, really. Yeah. So far. I, I, so far. Like I say, it's in it's in that debatably bad category. Well, I see uh, water on this map. To be honest, it's honestly debatably direct. debatably bad is kind of the the territory we've been landing landing uh, into uh, regularly with some of the games that have been given out because that was also the case. I'd say with both the games that got given out today, uh, both with Trirosh Depi as well as Finger Flashing. There's a sheep named Corn and Banana. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey, you. Oh my gosh, I'm flying! That's oh, I just attract sheep. the sheep to me now. Okay. Yes. That's a part good of the coolness of this year was the fact that the sheep really control awkwardly. Well, yeah, you're trying to herd sheep. Were you expecting it to to control like Meat Boy? <laughs> control as precisely as something like that. Jim made it. <laughs> you can sell the floof you ever wanted. I am missing. It's also a game that um, I can't confirm or deny for other versions, but at least in terms of the GBA version, we didn't get it over here in the states. This was a PAL only game. I am uh, missing the sheep. Where is it? Which is weird. It looks like the kind of game that would do fairly okay over here on yeah, the, I mean, on the yeah. GBA. It was also made by Capcom, too, of all people. Yeah. Oh, it was published. I don't know if it was yeah, made. Pub published well, is the well, keyword there. Well, I think it's safe to say they fixed a mistake after uh, Sheep Man. Like, it's just nah. Sheep. How? The sheep Man does kind of remind me of Konami Man. Oh, right. Reminds me a little bit of Konami Man, actually. Oh, no, I How drowned T. Okay, stay I mean, away from the combine harvester. Yeah, I, oh, I think I, I made a similar it. connection where Sheep Man is kind of like Konami Man. So, guys. Uh, I'm on the first area that has the jump pads in the water, right? Yeah. In the little river? Yep. There's a sheep in the bottom right corner with no way to get there or get it out of there. How did it get yeah. there? Good question. Next question. Um, uh, did exactly. my game bug? No, no, it's perfectly normal. There must be a way. There's literally no way over there. God, not what unless you go through bad. the field of cows that you cannot enter. Well, you don't have to get all the sheep anyway to beat the stage. No, but I wanted to. <laughs> I'm a completionist, damn it! So I'm hurting it all these <laughs> oh, around it. I, 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 it's behind the sign at the truck. I, I also am not a fan <laughs> of the idea of um. Having to, uh, having to herd the sheep to try to knock things over to progress the, the stage. Yeah, not, it, it has an extra level of difficulty. Not, not a fan of that. 
All right, where? Also, remember there are multiple different kinds of sheep with different controls. Some of them will just not listen to you. Oh, I think I have to. Yeah, I gotta restart. Get out the of the stage. corner, guys! I accidentally drowned a few too many sheep. Ah, yes. Uh, as Cortez <laughs> said in the previous match, those sheep deserve to die. Yeah. I I was... The, the, the best part of that match was just hearing about the insane amount of swearing Where at the sheep go? going on. <laughs> yep. Because uh, I believe uh, oh, Hesmeas was saying, thank goodness my stream is muted, because seemingly there's a lot of cursing. Yeah, I... <laughs> Yeah, her uh, her wife was providing updates in the uh, in the chat about <laughs> Edge Maze's mental state yeah. with sheep as the match went on. It was it was uh, it was glorious. Oh, oh, I will be oh, right oh, back. This is our danger. Are you okay? I'll be right back. Shit. Oh shit! All right. Well, more sheep have been drowned. That sucks. Hurry. All right, I need to herd these sheep back then. Oh, did you? You know what? I can leave you two to fend for yourselves. Can you? Can you really? I mean, it beats the electric fences. Uh, the end. Um, true. True. Yeah, true. Yeah. You finally learn, but you know, sheep. Sheep yeah, are. I feel sheepish about it, but you know. Sheep are dumb as rocks. I wish there was a run button. Run button would be nice. Now let's go open the door and actually get through this stage this time. You know, I, I've got to say, screw it to my completion side, we have to get the stage done. <laughs> I got toast to the goal! And Rolly! Toast! Buttering toast! Oh, for God's sake, get in the truck, you sheep! Clark! My favorite sheep, Clark. I think I'm gonna have to leave one behind. Oh boy. Alright, whoever you are, you're gonna have to come with me if we have to finish. Quickly, That's run quickly! Oh, this is the, the bonus stage. Where the entire stage is surrounded by electrical fences. Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, yes. Where, where they were farming electricity out of the sheep. That's a way to put it, I suppose. Hey, we yeah, have to that's all aesthetic. Gotta go somewhere, right? Yeah, you know, we have to help off Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get... Nope! I gotta hold two sheep in the bonus stage. Hell yes. I'm back. I'm back. Um... Oh, I swear. <laughs> what? <laughs> do, do... Do you still want the baby Metroid, or do you want a mature Metroid going to your house now? I'll be good. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> That's out. Press X to doubt. We are out of World 1 now on my side. Oh, there's a nice little corral of them. Uh, make my leg, so I say X, because there, there's a difference there. Alright, down knows. Don't you just love the dominoes? Yes. He's I'm a person. more of a shooting person. <laughs> I definitely uh, I'm not. Annoyed. I definitely do not like Domino's pizza. It's cheap for the price, so I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, you're, if you're getting Domino's pizza, you're mostly getting it for the price, not because it's gourmet or anything like that. Gonna, Ooh, ne no, ne no. Next time I go on a business trip, I'm getting people Domino's pizza. <laughs> there you go. The, 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 the best meal for any business trip, Domino's pizza. That sheep got fucking smashed. Well, I guess that, <laughs> ma that makes it up because its name was Grape. <laughs> Oof. Well, the nose there, Captain. Hey guys, there's a piece of candy on the other side of the fence. You want to get it? The button I think I need to press somewhere that uh, disables the trap, but let's look at the map. The map tells me nothing about where the, the thing to disable those are. The map tells me nothing! Well, let's have a look around. Maybe carry a sheep with us if we need to. 
That's just points. That's not what I want. Oh, is it this thing oh, that God, I got to... The sound quality's getting worse. It was squally. How many sheep do I need? Six sheep. Alright, let's go. Let's oh, go I get some more get sheep. That. Why is that tractor backing up? Why not? Tra tractors can back up. Normally, much slower. Yeah, but like, it, the question is less like, why is that tractor backing up when it should? It's like, it's more like, why back up in the first place? Like, what's the reason behind it? You have to assume why, there's a reason. Why? Why oh, is the driver? God. I gotta question everything here. Yes, yeah, so I gotta question why the sound quality is getting worse because of how many sheep I have. I mean, GBA. Also, I found a sheep named Cream. Ah. Uh. Son the Sonic World has invaded sheep. <laughs> Uh, there is- okay, there's no a- sheep. There's a lot- oh my god. Fucking going on a wild ride here. Sheep's wild ride, Oh, yes. I straight up just can't grab sheep if, uh, sheep if they're in the, uh, if they're in the cornfield. Gotcha. Nope. nope. Cornfield can't get in the way, you know? How many- how many sheep do I need? Six? Oh, I need six, okay. Get in there. All right, everyone in the truck. I don't want any. I need public debates. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave you guys behind. Carrying a sheep. I don't even know how to carry a dang sheep. Just bang them. Head for the north and let a sheep push the bread butt. Gosh dang it. Yep. What type of fruit hey, Linda. are you telling me to do? <laughs> no, I'm one gonna back. run out of time on this one. I uh, said so you're yeah, yeah, around. Yeah. All right, there we go. Uh, okay, everyone. You two, get back here. I have uh, I have yeah. successfully the last sheep within a minute. I Probably have successfully not. painted my sheep purple. <laughs> <laughs> me taking care of these sheep just reminds uh, me of, uh, has anyone seen Brandon Rogers' A Day at the Park? I have not. No. I can't nope. remember if I have or not. <laughs> I'm not gonna quote all of it, just out of it get a little offensive, but uh, I'll just quote the most appropriate part. I, I'm i impressed that they let me, me be in charge of the fourth grade the field trip. I've had... They have been monitoring everything, even when they go to the bathroom. <laughs> this isn't sanitary. <laughs> I always drink different- Oh, there's one deep lemon! Anyways, I always drink to forget, but I always remember. No running, you piece of shit! I'll run as much as I want to! Running is a great way to get rid of last night's bad choices! I'm cheesecake! I'm just loving life! <laughs> Where? Wait. There's- okay, there's a lot to unpack with this map. Alright. Morning, Donna! You look mature today! Oh, thank you, Kelly! It's great to see you dressed and out of bed before noon! Oi. You know what? I'm gonna do this m stage my own way instead of going the long road. Uh-oh. My way and my way. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to take a shortcut and see what happens. Hopefully the sheep are not too stupid for this plan that that I have. Um, the answer may surprise you. The answer will not surprise me, because I already know the sheep are too stupid. How <laughs> 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 the dog to getting electrocuted, yet these sheep are not! I think most of the, the obstacles got are, shot for up. You are for you or to waste time. Yes. That's tracks. Now Man, I, I haven't ha seen any more electrocutions like this since Mario Strikers. <laughs> I got bread to the goal! Sheep are known for being resourceful and intelligent. 
and totally not. That's a lie, to... you know. It's. <laughs> Probably yes. I wonder where it's Good going. Bed. We'll know when it stops, right? Yes, Queen. Uh... So the sheep dog thinks that it was wise. It's smart. However, it's not wise enough to know where the truck is headed. Oh, that looks like something I don't want sheep to go into. Oh, I feel dizzy. I hate cars. They make me sick. Uh, hey, same. Unless I want a very squished sheep. I think the truck has stopped. Let's get out. Yes, let's go. Chair! Hey, chair! Don't call me, I'm home! Wait, where am I? Uh-oh. Wait, they're wrong. Me. The neighbor's rich! Oh, no. Time. The... First name time, last name stalker. We. I need more sheep. I, I need more. I need two more sheep. Oh well, let's see what we can find here. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Twenty miles away from the Mountain Ranch, it's the middle of harvest season, and there are many tractors. Watch for them, and don't let them run over your sheep. Mushroom party? Hey, we just got to play Mario. <laughs> Mario's mushroom party. Oh god, please do not go into those shit. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, okay, let's get out of here to the next stage. Let's go! Wait, I have to... <laughs> so I am forced to leave a sheet behind because it needs to hold the button to keep the truck open. No, no, you just had to press the button. Nope. Yeah, you just had to press the button once. Caro Plum. Okay. There's one named uh. Spoon. <laughs> oh god, that just reminds me that I got myself a Spoony shirt earlier today. You Spoony sheep. Oh, I thought you right. Be right back. Was his last name Edward? <laughs> sure, you can name a sheep Edward. I'm up. Bonus stage done. I'm right to you. Where? Looks like the bonus st no. stages are what separate uh, each world. So yeah, now we're on to the. Uh, well, yeah, we're on to the castle now. Yep. That's what you expect. Have the fun, Judge the Oil. This can't be too bad, right? <laughs> funny you. It's we'll see. I, I mean, I, I don't think we're gonna get out of the castle area. We're no, probably, we're probably no. just going to uh, just gonna start it and we'll, we'll see how far we can get. I wonder if these sheep can accidentally fall in the water here. No, it looks like there is an invisible wall to protect them. Good. This bonus game is bullcrap. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's a dead farm. Punch across here. Let's pick up another sheep on the way, just in case things go south. Which most likely they will. Oh yeah. Well, you can pick up sheep in the bonus game, so. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. So that can net you some good amounts of sheep. Thirty-five dead. Cheers. <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, well. Hey guys, you want some, you want some lamb jerky? Want some lamb chops? Well, I've never had lamb before, but as long as you get to silence them. Oh, uh, 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 will it be the chanty? Oh, it's not even a uh, it's not even a truck yet. Is what we're going to in the castle stage. You just take them to the end of the stage. What do we There's got? There's one named Summary. Oh my god, one's named after my brother. Uh, uh. I just heard more sheep there. Okay. Where are the sheep? Because I see a lot of conveyor belt. Oh god. Alrighty, well. Yeah, yeah. The, the difficulty gather spikes up, doesn't it? Okay, this is doable. Just means I'm gonna need to carry him across, I'm sure. Because I get the it's feeling working. I can't. 
All right. Please love me. <sighs> Such as you heard water in a fashion to push water, just with the tip of your hand. There's always going to be a few droplets that slip out of the side. Yeah. I'm going everywhere. Early to the goal. Get up, sheep. Get up. There was one named Lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Be loving. Let us love one another. It seems the pink yeah. sheep are the easiest to herd because they all stay together. The white one are usually the easiest one, but the pink are medium. The, so far for me, the pink have been the easiest because they uh, stay together while the white are just kind of there. All right, it's time for my favorite movie, Sheep Run. The, the, white, <laughs> she, the white sheep have less brain cells. The, right. They are less social. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought everyone has a white sheep for their last remaining brain cell. I got Wait, lemons of the goal. And s steak. Yeah, I, I got steak to thing. the goal. You have a brain cell? I haven't, what's, I haven't had one of those in years. <laughs> Sounds yummy. Wait, you have more than one? I don't I don't oh, think a brain what? cell is food, Polk. But come oh, on, it's right? delicious. Well, why? I, it, 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 where do you think you get brain fruit from? The, the I, stage. You're, you're thinking of fish and monkey brains. The, the stage that I am in is called the No Fun Fair. <laughs> Thanks, game. What's our time looking like? Uh, we've got about two minutes left. Two and a half minutes. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, no, no, no. Whew. Oh, a game that's actually gonna make it the whole round. Oh, man, a bouncy castle. Oh, finger! And this is a Kuzo game! Like, what yeah, the heck? That's a decent Kuzo game. This is a pretty tame Kuso game. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Also, this is... I am back with a major what? message. <laughs> Part of the reason I brought this for is that I had a very limited selection of games I could pick from because uh, one of our, well, gamers at a point here had the accessibility issues. Yeah, so we so were... I it was limited on controls I could grab. Yeah, plus another one of the people has seen, like, every single game that's been in the tournament, so he had to find something yeah. new. Yeah. You can, he has problems. I mean, at a certain point, some of the people who go to the Cuso Grande, it's like, okay, yeah, you've played almost every bad game in existence. That's how it, that's how it went with my last match that I did, where, like, I, I we got a bunch of stuff that I was already, like, familiar with from either playing them or uh, saw enough of them and was familiar enough with the mechanics to not be able to claim blind in it, um, up until we hit uh, King's Quest V. Why not do the NES? Yeah, NES. But, you know, being a point-and-quick game on the NES means, uh, they had to take some liberties. Yeah. Yeah. Is of course. All and, I need left is a sheep named Fork. And, and, or and, a knife. And, and also a King's Quest, just in general, being the, the jank mess that it can be sometimes, especially when it comes to softlocks. Yeah. Yeah, that pie. Mmm. Oh, wait. Be, uh, oh, be, you're, you're missing one. Spork. True. Right, we got, yeah, you're cheap. We got about a little less than half a minute left for this game, by the way, before time is called. Well, in that case, it's also. Hey, baby, you want to braid my cell? It's the last it, one on the house, baby. It's also the the. <laughs> uh, uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> wait, I I can flatten the sheep, but they don't die from it. Okay. These are aliens. Yep. I mean, that if sheep you get literally flat, got you just kind of sit there. That sheep literally got hit with a mallet. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. I'm not gonna think about it. That's time. Oh, they're all purple lambs behind the slaughter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can actually go get a screenshot of one of them. Was quick. that the bot of '87? Oy. There you go. Okay. There's a flattened sheep for you. Beautiful. All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna be playing my game ne next. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Oh boy, here comes quality. Here comes fun. 
Big Big, never mind about that Alpha Metroid. You're getting an Emmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I don't know about it. Can't you just send us AX over at me at this point? Oh, an if, Emmy is what's is much more dangerous. If you've seen the uh, initial release trailer and saw like that thing that was going after Samus in the uh, initial trailer for Metroid Dread, I'm pretty sure that's what an Emmy is. Dang it. Yeah, because Man. guess what? Uh, Samus could actually fight an SAX on Emmy. <laughs> you can't fight that. It is impenetrable. Yep. From, it is pen impenetrable from Samus at her most powerful. Ew. Yep. Oh. An SAX would not be able to do anything about that. No. Nope. Emmy is and much it, worse. The Emmy you want also want to kill you. Yep. Uh, Theoretically. I I was gonna say, hey, then again, SAX was basically COVID before COVID, considering that was a parasite that nearly killed her. Yep. Yeah. One big difference is that you could actually see that parasite, though. All right. Well. Hey, true. It's time That's for true. It's time for another game. It's time for a game from me. What did you bring for us this time? Uh. Yes. What have you brought? This is less for the game itself and more for the. This is a technical marvel on the hardware that it's on, which is, which is why I was intrigued. I don't think, as a game, I don't think it's gonna last long here, but I think it's gonna be interesting to see like the technical capabilities that they were able to pull off with for this game. So we're looking at a port of a classic arcade game ported to the Game Boy Color. We have Dragon's Lair for Game Boy Color. Oh no! Oh yes! How so you what you're saying is Polk probably b brought the best game tonight. Potentially. <laughs> oh, hey! It's Dragon's Lair, I which... I feel like I my job! It, it is Dragon's <laughs> Lair, which means, like... I mean, if you're fam familiar with how Dragon's Lair works, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into with this one. I am a gun! <laughs> <laughs> That's basically... <laughs> To the extent of my knowledge, no, I know nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I know that you are going to die a lot hard. in this game. Then this is basically QTE's the video game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You oh, also no, don't I get an on. Yeah, no, I'm dead. I know this. You... I kind of know this dragon. Yeah, yeah and, and yeah, and on top of that, you also don't get a prompt, so you have to figure out the right button com the right button presses through mm -hmm. trial and error. Oh, so no mysterious yellow light that you have to react to in, a, like, a fifth of a second? No, you gotta just try things. There is a train mode, which will display the, um, prompts for you. Um, <laughs> so you can kind of see how to get through each of the rooms, if you want to try that one. The game, I'm gonna say the game is technically short enough that you could beat it in half an hour. It's like a ten-minute game or so. Yeah, uh, Dragon's Lair it. itself is not long. But mm -hmm. you you had to have the game basically memorized to a science to get through it. Good news, guys. I already found the credits. We don't need to play. Ray. <laughs> I'm giving myself five minutes before I'm like, yeah, nope. Yeah, you, you, you only get five lives in this game, and there are no continues. So once you lose those five lives, you're back to the start of the game. Where, where can I sit a quarter? Is it too late to get that bowl of ice cream and just sit this one out? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I was going to order myself some food right now, so this is the perfect game to do it with. Oh, great. I, I, I think the question we're all going to have to ask ourselves is, is this better than the NES game? I would say yes, because I... Yes. I them. So, I'll let you guys judge for yourself when we actually play the game, but I think considering they were trying to put this game on Game Boy Color, they did a pretty good job with it. I'm not going to say it's great or even good, but for the hardware, I'm going to say they did okay with it. Anyway, I am... Try. I'm ready to go with everybody else's. One moment. I, I am that. here. <laughs> I am prepared to play I, the game. I don't uh, know if you can be prepared for something like this when you've never played <laughs> any of them. Uh, you'll figure things out. Anyway, starting in five, <laughs> four, three... Two, one, Dragon Slayer. And main this game. This is the last game of yours that got, I absolutely hated. You got main game tutorial. It's uh, directions plus the A button to swing your sword. Well, that did well. Yeah, that didn't work. The first two screens are the same every time. After that, it's pretty much randomized. 
get a custom to dying. But like, I think it looks really good for a Game Boy Color game. There's barely any sound, though, uh, to make up for that. Yeah. The death animation is good, though. Yep, that's that's, that's standard with these dumb blue arcade games. Uh, you know, you'll be seeing this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, the sound, though. Yeah, the sound is not... So, all sound effects. It's trying. And when I say it's impressive on a technical level, technical level, uh, I mainly mean visually. I mean, yeah, visually it is impressive. Cause you have to remember, this is this is Game Boy Color. All right. Game over. Oh crap! Oh, there goes my first life. Time to lose the rest of them. Yep. Like so. Through the wall. Now the interesting thing is that I do have a button to uh on my retro arc to help me uh ooh, to basically pause the emulator so that way it'll help me think, but I'm not gonna do that. I ain't cheap about things like this. I'm sorry, game, what button do you want me to press? Because none of them seem to be working when you're telling me to. Just slam your oh, keyboard at this point. I'm on controller. Put your face on the keyboard. And I, and I have the uh, Game Boy set up, so one of these buttons should be. I'm assuming he wants me to hit the sword. There we go. Now it works. Yeah, I believe. Straight to a wall. The sword is B. Almost got through that room. Game over. I'll probably take a few swings of this before I call it good. Right, and now we get the randomized stuff. Yeah. Right, that that's one's just go up. Aw, man, that time they got me! Well, I guess while we're doing this, uh, fun fact, I'm already starting on Christmas shopping. Hooray, <laughs> Christmas shopping in August. I know I've been able to, to afford any shopping. Yeah, I'm not thinking about anything. Any sort of Christmas shopping yet. Game oh. over. Okay, just... I got my shopping done in advance because I want to make sure I get my family and friends the best presents. That is fair. Yep, I have an idea. Yep, I even send them surveys to fill out. Ooh. All right, this. Oh god. Right, this is the one where my sword gets stolen and I have to try to get it back. That's that scene. So it's very important. Okay, horsey, yeah! Up through the wall again. Wow, score of zero. <laughs> ah, damn it. I was ah. eaten by slime. Yeah, that I, sounds about right. Slime. I think the problem I have with this game is that every time I die, it just spawns me randomly somewhere else. Yep. It's basically so. It, it pulls from a pool of different rooms that you can go into, including some that are basically the same room, but mirrored. Um, and once once you get through all those rooms in a playthrough, um, it'll take you to the uh, the final segment with the dragon. Oh, great. So when, once you beat a section in a run, it gets put, it gets taken out of the pool until all, all the uh, rooms get taken out of the pool. Okay, so the... So the training mode, you only get to do up to 4,000 points. After that, it kicks you out. Yeah, but it does show you the uh, commands that you have to put in for, for that room, so you can work on trying to memorize them. Sense. And now, time to do probably the best thing I can do. A special thank you to Catherine Matega for programming this game. <laughs> D. Lee, Oy. the lead artist. If there are artists including Daniel Shalock, Rima Litonja, uh, as some of you, have, as some of you might have also noticed, with with some of these rooms, you can't just mash your way through them. Sometimes you That's have to right, press. Tell me. Some sometimes you have to press them. Sometimes you are able to mash your way through them, but sometimes uh, 
you have to press the button with the right timing, otherwise you're gonna walk straight into a trap. <laughs> like this room I'm in with the ball is going back and forth. Arvin Bautista, Ronnie Fike, with supporting artist Kevin James, not the ball cop. <laughs> or the zookeeper. Matt Lynch, Mike Yuki, Andy Chiu, art director Boyd Bergrabi, sound by Robert Baffy, support programmer Jeremy Micah, Tyler Killer, tool programmer Dan F Filner, production by <laughs> Bill Baffy and Renee Johnson, creative director Mike Micah. Executive producer, Andrew Ari, Jeff Fatasaur, featuring Double May Crop, Ari's Dante, HD Remix, and Knuckles. Uh, yeah, to read this comment, my chat. Know what contribution I want to make to the world? People being able to play the awful 100% QTE Dragon's Lair gameplay on the go. Yep. <laughs> well, when you put it like that. Dragon's Lair. Little Life Child, game created by Rick Dyer and Don Blue. Oh God! Special thanks to Digital Leisure. I remember this checkboard room from the actual Dragon's Lair. Oh, great balls! <laughs> yeah. The Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> No way, I was wrong. This is just a wipeout. I'm gonna give this game one more go, mm. and after that, I'll go and stop it, because I'm sure people are feeling done with this game already. I mean, the, you pretty much get to experience 90% of the game within five minutes. Yeah. Yep. Is this, is this a contender for one of our shortest... Uh... Probably. I mean, okay. I, didn't, I yeah, didn't think it was going to last long. I yeah. brought... I brought for the technical marvel that it was, and well, in that regard, you sure got your money's worth out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. The highest I got was five thousand points. I got one thousand on my so you're... Three thousand on my think. Uh, I remember how to get through some of these rooms, but not all of them. Some of them have a lot of moves that you have to do to get through them. Yeah. And some of the rooms are just, hey, repeat the same button over and over till you leave the room. Ah, oh, damn it. Yep. Just want to do something different. <laughs> yeah, just hit that co get that copy and paste ready. It's yep. like, pop it. Do it the same, but better. <laughs> now, bop it I was actually good at. Bop it was good. Bop it. Twist it. Turn it. Shove it. Pull it. Yeah. Reverse. What? Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> that that <laughs> doesn't sound right. Where did you get your poppet from? I don't think that was a poppet. Uh. <laughs> okay, fireworks. Awesome. I was. Okay, I, I think I'm I done. I was a silly sausage. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> to anyone who actually played Bobbit, what was your highest score? I do not remember anymore. I used to be good at Bobbit. They, they, when I went to the, uh, arcade pit panel at MAGFest, they had a, uh, one of the, one of the challenges they had there was, uh, playing Bop It. I think at the most recent one. And, like, oh, nice. And, like, somebody ended up going for quite a while. Oh, I think that's game over for me. Yep, game I, over. I didn't play Bop It. I do know that I did play, uh, I did watch the, uh, Family Game Night show when it was on the hub, and they had, like, a whole live Bop It thing, it was actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've st really I've stopped the timer story. now for for Dragon's Lair. So you yeah. you are free from this game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sweet release. When we come back, we've got one final game for the night from Flame Blood. We'll see you in a bit. Oh boy. How Honestly, when you were talking about for? a technical marvel on the Game Boy Color, I thought you were fixing to make us play Resident Evil. <laughs> Which one, Resident Evil Gaiden? No, I'm talking about Is Resident Evil. Is there any others? Like, the, the, in the not quite finished port of the original Resident Evil on the Game Boy um, Color. 
Jeez. Also, I remember, I remember my uh, my highest Bop It score. This was on the, at the time, the remade or revamped Bop It, the big white one. Uh, I got, I think it was 323, somewhere around there. Dang. Now, a friend of mine had one of the original small blue Bop It's. I got to 42 on that and could never get higher. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's so, like, I think for me it was because of how small it was. It was easier to handle the big one. I could see that. That could be taken out of context. Glad we're on break! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are we on break? I mean, yeah, we are. Are we? Well, not anymore. Again, not anymore we are. Better. Big, big, shut up! We're not on break anymore because it's time for a game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude. Look, we're not, you're, you, you're coming on the other one streaming. Not all of us take breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not all of us take kick cats either, though you really should. No, and no <laughs> breaks for Flame Blood, because Flame Blood's game is up next. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you end our pilgrimage on. Yeah, so I was trying us. to think of something different, but, uh. <laughs> but <well>. you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else caught my eye, and. <laughs> Like, other than Starbound, I'm still, like, doing Gun Vault, so... We're playing uh, Mega Man Zero 2. Sweet! I'm continuing the Mega Man Zero <laughs> train. Well, a, was... <laughs> a good, hard game. Well, that's into Create, so... Well, this kicked my ass at Swap 5. Hopefully I improve since, even though I've never touched this game at all. I'm, go I'm gonna yeah, tell yeah, you, yeah. Like, 2 is... Better for small oh, yes. things than oh, one, but it's still bad. <laughs> it is hard to wall wall. It is hard balls to the wall hard. You feel bad, Capcom Knight? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna tell wrong. you this. I'm gonna tell you this. The any problems that if you extensively try and play one, any problems you had in one, you're gonna have those exact same problems in two. Well, That's at least a bit of map arranging. Deke, your stream is not up, by the way. Oh, shoot. Also, food's about to arrive, <laughs> so you guys go ahead and get started while I uh, get that at my door. I'll let you know when it gets there. <laughs> and the right stream is up. Making sure everything looks good first. No, I'm gonna have a good time. Also, uh, I'm going to take an opportunity to take a picture of the Christmas cards I uh, purchased for, for the holidays to send out. And if you guys want some, you're more than happy to have one. Mm, was it Christmas cards? <laughs> Dang, trying to get well ahead of the curve. Yeah, yeah did, did mention I... we're getting Christmas shopping done right and early. Yep, got the surveys Ooh. ready, getting them all wrapped. But well, that's going to be next once my brother gets back to me on... Uh, And ta-da! Nah. Oh, who's here? <laughs> ah, who's he? Ah, oh, nice! Yeah. Job done. That's a nice Christmas card. Mmm. Should be good. I am fancy. ready to go when everybody else is. As ready as can be! I'm, I'm probably the most ready for this game, considering I recently I played through it. Gimme, 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 back gimme, in, uh, gimme. in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> so then, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Mega Man Zero 2. <laughs> a new game going. Boy, am I glad I remember what order the bosses go in. For once, this is not sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Bring on the chain rod! Give him I'm, a grapple! I'm a lot less familiar with, with Zero Two compared to Zero Three, so this will be a thing. <laughs> so, here, here's the weird... I don't like the chain rod. I do not like the chain rod. And, like, Ooh. people who review this game is like, Oh, I missed the chain rod over the recoil rod. The recoil rod is not only easier to use, but you can use that while dashing. Yeah, yeah, I can agree on that one. I'm back with food, so I'll get myself dinner and a show. <laughs> yeah. There you go. The Mega Man Zero, like... the Netflix adaptation. 
the chain rod brings this game to such a crawl when you absolutely do have to use it to progress. It yep. sucks. The first stage you need it in, it's not so bad. You need it to platform. But by the end of the game, you're using it just to get past a bunch of enemies that you really don't need there. <laughs> and my buttons reset on me again. Fantastic. There we go. I also like this little touch that it's the original screen of the original uh, Mega Man Zero, but damage for all the battles you have through. And it changes after the first stage. Yeah. All right. And just like any other Mega Man Zero, you're gonna die easily if you're not careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I have basically never played any <laughs> Oh, you're in for a treat. Check, check your configurations then, because there's an easy option. Ooh, Cyber Elf. Yeah, there's a few settings that you can... setting your A button to, if you're using a controller, setting your A button to, uh, to your left face button, and keeping B as your bottom face button. That's just a recommendation. I you don't have what to was it, What was that again? Set A as your left cute. face button. Uh-huh. That's a recommendation. Oh, well, yeah. Got this mid-boss. It's not too hard once you get the pattern down, but... Just from how, yeah. how few hits yeah, you take. That is probably the easiest boss you will fight in this game. Even if I know, it, oh, it's yeah. a pretty easy pattern once you get the hang of it. It's just that you... You can't take that many hits. You held this can low. Yeah. Yeah, one thing about Mega Man Zero 1 and 2, uh, your health extensions are through Cyber Elves, and you actually have to get crystals or money for this game to actually get that health extension, because you have to evolve the Cyber Elves, and it can take you anywhere from 250 to 500 or even 1,000 crystals. Oh, I sunk. Using them also decreases your ranks, which lowers your chance of getting those special X skills. You were glitching. <laughs> yeah, you were you you were cutting out there for a bit. Hey, also, yeah, could I just say missed opportunity to not have a cyber Santa? I kept trying nah. to pick up the health, and then I got dropped into a pit instead. Whoops. I do remember reading about how that in at least some of the Zero games, it's like, okay, here's this mechanic, but if you use it, you don't get the good stuff. Yep. That's yeah. what happens to this one. If you use some of the Cyber Elves, it will lower your rank permanently, and uh, it means lower ranking. Yeah. Health, it's the kind I of... think health extensions are the exception, because you it, nope. practically need those. Yeah, it's the kind of completion for no, uh, that does... Rank. It's the kind of completion uh, formula well, that doesn't. Cyber Elves that increase your rank. It's the kind of completion formula that, that just that doesn't really jive with me too well because usually when you're playing a game and you're trying to finish it to completion, you want to benefit from the stuff that you're getting. Oh yeah. Like in this case, you want to benefit from those health, those uh, maximum health ups that you get. Um, but you j you Ooh. can't because you need to keep that ranking. So it kind of goes against instincts. Hey. And three, it's a lot better because the health extensions uh, don't decrease your ranking. However, it's a lot easier in three to get a good ranking. Oh yeah. Also, uh, if you sacrifice an elf for in three, it will lower your rank, but you can't set up a satellite, which that doesn't lower your rank. Yeah, and you also don't have to necessarily sacrifice elves in three because the system changed a lot in three. Oh yeah. Because there are some elves that will passively heal you as you keep them on into, let's say, an equipment slot. Yep. How do I forget there was a charge in a Mega Man game? Um, in this game where you actually have level up for your weapons, the more you use them, the more abilities unlock with them. To be fair, in, uh, in Zero One, you didn't start with the charge on the buster. You had to unlock that. Uh, ah, I see. Victory! For peace! Uh -oh. For pony! 
At least we got through that mid boss a lot quicker this time around. <laughs> so who's made it to the stage boss? I haven't yet. I I ended I up cleared the boss. I fell I I'm fell into the scene. I fell into the pits oh, a little you, too you much. Didn't get, you didn't get the secret elf, did you? Hopefully this time I'll be able to make it. You have it to get that, uh, secret. I have a goal. I am a woman with a mission. Good for you. <laughs> and that mission would be... Ah, Reach up Pepto. Reach the... up Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> oh well here's the pre-boss music so i might be coming in on the uh, actual stage boss in a bit here i think i may as well <laughs> yep that looks like a boss, boss for here isn't isn't that bad no it's the next boss that's recommended to fight uh first when you finish this stage <laughs> You know, the actual bosses of the game. Uh, yeah, like, looks like this boss uh, pretty easily counters um, having a Z Saber. You want to Buster Duel it, seems. Just because it's got that extra protection. Actually, once you see the tail move, you can get in close for the Z Saber. Does the, uh, yeah. does the shield that it has not have a hitbox or something? When not it comes to. It covers its face, and then you can hit the shield and possibly destroy it if you do okay. enough damage. Yep. But if you know what you're doing, the fight never lasts long enough to destroy the shield. I got a B rank. Yep. Ah, sweet. B rank is good. For, like, anyone who's just coming into this game, a B rank in that stage is actually really good. I got a Most D. newer people to the series are probably gonna get, like, an E rank. Yep. It has some growing pains. Okay, but it does it does it have some on our own? Right, this is a character I think I recognize from Zero Three. Yep. Maybe from Zero One, but yeah. Oh, oh the, yeah. the the green guy? Yeah. Yep. Almost yeah. looks like Tornado Man from Mega Man Nine. <laughs> yeah, he does. He he is Well he is wind element. <laughs> yep. So he's he's actually guardian. in the first three games. A lot of the characters you're gonna see in this game are in mostly are in all three games. Four kind of has a smaller cast. Yep. Yep. Uh, what four was I gonna three? feel like the series should have ended at three? I kind of like how they ended it with four because the fights were good. The final uh, boss fight was mm -hmm. done really well. I do think they could have like four definitely felt like, hey, this does feel rushed. It doesn't feel rushed to the point where it's bad, but they definitely could have extended it a little bit. But what they did with uh, ZX wasn't bad. Advent, on the other hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, ZX first. <laughs> uh. ZX wasn't bad. I liked ZX, but I love Metroidvanias, so. Yeah. Oh, those ZX are more, that, those are more exploratory? Yes, yeah, oh, ZX yeah. and ZX oh, yeah. Advent are, they are just straight up Metroidvanias. Oh. And they're oh, yes. not that hard. ZX Advent more uh, so on the harder scale, but it's not, not as bad as the first two Zero games. Uh. ZX also has some collectibles that are pretty BS to pick up. The lava one uh, comes to mind, but yes, they do. Ma they do uh, make them a little bit easier in the Legacy Collection because I didn't have any here. trouble. The the only thing I had trouble with was the super secret upgrade you get at the end of the game. Ah, uh, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> I love the artwork for that too. It's amazing. Ooh. Wow, something Polk and I actually bonded on. Would you look at that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's to be expected when, when it comes to Mega Man. I guess in this it's case, so Mega Man Zero. Mega Man's a red thing. What you gonna do? Damn you know, it! <laughs> now I need to find a reason to play through all the X games. Maybe I should get the Legacy Collections on the Switch. Uh, oh, it's good. Well, not... Legacy Collection One is great. 
Two, um, I was gonna say, two, two is X5 through X8, so your mileage may vary on that one. So basically, yeah. all you're getting is just X5 for the Switch. So, I was gonna say, I started, I was gonna say, the first Mega Man X game I played was X8. Oh boy. Counterpoint. Oh boy, you went backwards seven. on that one. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't start off on a good one. Well, you, you could have done anything worse. I mean, Except you, you know, I Burn to the ground. some very bad memories of a certain something. Burn, Burn to the, the ground. ground! Burn to the ground! Burn to the ground! Burn <laughs> to the ground! Hey, Zero, this is what you should do! Hey, Zero, this is what you should do! Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, I'm still charging at the cutscene. Aren't video games great? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And yeah, the thing about Mega Man Zero Games that seems to be a re reoccurring trend is long cutscenes when you get past the opening area. Well, they actually had time to make some storyline on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because they kind of had to rush through some of the story in one. Because the fact that the bad guys were created by. Well, actually, let me not finish that. You're still playing through one on mm -hmm. the Shuffler, aren't you? Okami. What's up? You're still playing through uh, Zero One on the Shuffler, right? I, mean, I, I guess I am. Uh, I think yeah. I, I I haven't I'm had sure I have I haven't had a chance oh, to do Shuffler recently because of uh, yeah. just other things coming up in life. Mm -hmm. Hoping to get back to that soon, but like my 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 <laughs> weekly schedule has been packed to the point where it's like it's expected that something's probably gonna get cut from week to week because like my weekly schedule has basically been. Uh, Sunday, Mystery Race on Smite's channel, because I've been doing a lot of those weekly races that Smite posts recently. Um, we had a triple threat of PS1, uh, Disney games last week. Um, Monday, Dokapon. Tuesday, Shuffler and some other video game. It was Rain Code, but now it's gonna be Tears of the Kingdom. Wednesday, um, more Shuffler. <laughs> And also some retro game in my backlog, I don't know. And then Friday's this, <laughs> and then Saturday's like another stream. And plus, I think I've got uh, this month's um, this month's Mar uh, Archipelago coming up that I gotta prep for whenever we nail down a, a date for that, because that's usually near the end of the month. Basically, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is there is way too much of my schedule. <laughs> yeah. I have two things to say. One, I came across Gyro Rovarizion Woman Hybrid. Yeah, you, yeah, you found Tornado Man. And it's not actually Tornado Man, but that's just what he looks like. Yeah, I, will I was gonna yeah. say, that's not a woman. <laughs> yep. Misoka, oh. Tron sent me to send you a book to read for you before bed. I will read you my very last book. If you swear, you go to the book to sleep. I will because not. you are a very busy person and you need your sleepies. <laughs> anyway. Also, I will tell you, out of the... Te technically, Robot Masters, but the technically the Zero games don't have Robot Masters. ZX kind of does, because there's a lot more. I, I always thought but... they fell more in the, in the pattern of, like, Mavericks. So did so we. Me. I have come across El Pizza. I mean El Pepto Bismol. So technically, Pepto. technically, uh, what is it? Neo Arcadia. That's their name, right? Yeah, Neo Arcadia. Yeah. yeah. So technically, they look at the Resistance as Mavericks because technically yeah. they're also not Mavericks. They just have think it's think about it kind of kind of like a mob mentality. One side thinks one thing, the other side thinks another. Yeah. Yep. Get that cyber elf that I'm going to not proceed to not use. <laughs> I know how I play these games. Anyway. Well, I accomplished my goal. I met El Piso. <laughs> You're happy right. you got so no, now. I'm sorry. Wasn't it uh, El Pizza? <laughs> No, it was yeah. El Pepto Bismol. I told you this. <laughs> 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 I made this joke like. Mm. Two times now? 
I have that clip saved. <laughs> I know you oh, do. Boy. I clipped it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've saved uh, it for when I inevitably make highlights of crap. <laughs> <laughs> because I'll probably just take a bunch of uh, Twitch clips and put it in a cut clip collection. Yeah, speaking of uh, highlight reels, there's, there was a fun idea that actually got floated in regards to the Dokapon playthrough, which is uh, possibly there might be a when we actually finish that playthrough, whenever that might be, uh, a highlight reel of some of the best moments from that entire playthrough. The Cause... rock blocking. What was it? It was. It was. Uh, oh yeah, that from from I, th I think that was from like our most recent session where the rock yeah. just blocked him on on entry. It was yeah, pretty he, good. Yeah, he what? entered the cave and immediately blocked him. Invalid ID. <laughs> yeah, you remembered the title I gave it. <laughs> I clipped that crap. There was that, and, and and then immediately a rock, like another rock spawned in. It wasn't as insulting <laughs> as the first one, but like. Uh, done it, well, bro. originally everyone was like, wait, is the first one staying? And the first one disappeared. <laughs> There's definitely some particular moments that I think were were pretty good from that playthrough so far, personally. One of my favorite one, one of my favorite plays that I did um, has to be when... Um, God, I think it was chapter four, where uh, we were we were doing the, like the last part of the chapter. So it was the part where yeah you, you had to try to get the castle, uh, or you had to do the objective to in order to get control of the castle. Um, somebody did the objective and just had to get back to the castle, and then I went in to kill them, um, and then somebody else was trying to help me with magic. And it's like hey, I've got all day. You, you, I can do this all day. And then uh, I use an ability on them that sends them to the isolated continent. I remember that. <laughs> also, in the case I don't see you after this, sweet dreams. Hey, good night, my El Princeo. Uh, and now I gotta figure out what's going on with these things. Big, big, you need oh. help. I got it. <laughs> Yeah. Never change also, me, Beak. Never change. Why also, one thing I want everyone to keep in mind, don't sleep on the dash. That is gonna save you. Yeah, it saves me at the opening stage. It, it, it probably it, won't. If you're on the forest stage, it's not gonna save you when you're scaling up some floating platforms because uh, for some reason they decided to stick an enemy in a bullcrap spot. I remember when we were talking yeah. about the chain rod, by the way? Yeah. yeah remember, remember when I said it forces you to use it? Yeah. I found one of those points. Cyber Elf Sticky? The yes. Aim? Let's try going somewhere else then. Never mind, here you are. Ah, sticky! <laughs> Alright, El Picasso, I want you to give me my mission. Picasso. Mm. All right, I am so used to like how much better it is to go through continues in uh, the Legacy Collection. This just throws you right back at the beginning of the stage. I forgot about that. Yep. Split oh, finish. Me, damn it. Now I should be able to go back I to the talk to people point. again. You just walk in front of them and hold up. Yeah, you yep. have to stand in the right spot for it, though, which is a bit annoying. Literally, like, right in front of them or just straight up, like, on top of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you have to stand a little bit to the left of them. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's clunky. They fix Jeez. it in three to where, like, there's a fixed point that if you hit it. And then in 4, you just don't really have to talk to anyone but uh, CL and the operators, which I find hilarious. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this stage next, because the first one wasn't really working out for me. Maybe this one will work out a bit better. I'm having trouble with this one. That's how, that Wait. just sounds like Mega Man Zero in general. You're gonna struggle a lot. It's gonna happen. You were on awesome. a mission to cheat world. <laughs> so remember how uh, I mentioned there was a couple quality of life changes in two compared to one? Mm-hmm. You don't want to know what one of them is? What? 
that if you lose all your lives, you don't immediately fail the mission you're on. You just have to start all over again with no progress. Hey. No progress on your weapons. It's basically a fresh start for that mission. Oh, I bet I can get that extra life. Ah, I can. Because in Zero One, you kept your weapon progress, but if you lost all your lives, that mission you were just on failed. You don't get anything from it. Not the upgrades, nothing. No element, hey. nothing. You. <laughs> I will serve and, you well, El, El Soup Plantation. And theoretically, you could go through the entire Mega Man Zero One game just purposely killing yourself to go through all the missions and getting to the final boss faster. Yep. Theoretically, it's because possible. there are a couple missions that you absolutely, they're the ones in between the like four uh, main like missions. They, they, like the intermission stages. As yeah, I, I, as I usually... Those are the only ones that you absolutely have to clear. <laughs> What's that? Destroy things? You got it, El Porygon! El Porygon, that now did just be on purpose! <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're just go. realizing this? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you, I can have something to do better myself, El Pope, El <laughs> <What? laughs> Give me some health, damn it. Really could have used some health. Oh well. Oh, Maybe you'll oh, give me health. Seems. Yeah, a little bit. Oh yeah, a pro a one big issue with uh, two that they didn't fix with one. Um, The amount of damage you take and how little health actually spawns. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm getting some health spawns here and there. Not a whole lot, but enough. Yeah, I'm getting reasonable ones. Of course, my expectations might be low. I'm not, I'm not seeing a lot of the, lo the big hell spawns. Oh god, this mid-boss is... something else. Hmm, do I, to, do I have to dash under you to avoid you? Is that what's happening here? Okay, yeah, I do. That's not too bad, then. What mid-boss are you at? It's the mid-boss of the ice area. Oh, that, is a one. that thing. Okay, yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, just a matter of learning the patterns. Hitting it is sometimes a problem, though, just because... Good luck got... figuring out the pattern to the main boss of that area. Oh, Despite that's... his size, he is not slow. <laughs> oh, that's going to be fun when and if I get there. Yeah. Honestly, the ice area isn't too hard, so long as you know how to actually uh, use your dash on ice. Because one does not teach you how to do that properly. <laughs> yeah, I was noticing the dash was. Oh, wow. I died right as a big health spawn showed up. Damn with it. the dash, you basically have to hold it longer, but you need to let go before it would normally end. Uh, or yeah, jump uh, before it would normally end. Otherwise, you lose all your momentum and you either go into spikes or you don't get the momentum you need to jump to the next platform. Yeah, I was noticing that a bit because, because in the. Uh, hey, in the in the first part, there was a uh, there's an area with an extra life, uh, but you have to jump across ice floats to uh, to get to it. Yep. It's a weird thing on one of the yeah, ice parts. What is it? Oops. Oh, uh, so there are crates that hold special cyber elves. Normally, the ones you need to increase your health or get a sub tank are in these special crates that you have to break open. <laughs> There's even one in the very first stage that you go to that you can go back to, by the way. Yep. And there's one in uh, there as well. It's hidden underneath one of the platforms before the boss. Oh, nice. Z-Scaper skill up. You can now perform a double slash. Ooh, I got Ishilard. <laughs> yeah, once you get that double slash, some of the enemies become so much easier to deal with, especially the ones oh, yeah. with the mace. Yeah, I, w I think I ran into a few of them oh, in the so area I went to at first, and snow. dealing with them with a vertical, sh vertical shaft is no. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm I'm good with not doing. Oh god, don't go for that jump. You will die, me. Well, I can confirm this game is definitely kicking my ass, but at the very least, I will say I'm enjoying it much better than what I did putting it in a shuffler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it helps that you're right. you're playing the game more, like, in bulk now, instead of just playing it for, like, a few minutes, possibly seconds. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, uh, this Mega Man Zero game uh, relies less on right. the Z-Saber, 
and a little bit uh, more utility on the Buster. However, in one, it was made specifically for the Z Saber, but they right, had it made for X and not zero because that's all they had to go off of. Hey, guess what? It's it's time for the actual stage boss in uh in this ice stage. Good luck. Oh, I almost got the life. Uh, now, question: Who joined me on the actual first boss you're supposed to face? The snake. The snake. Wh yeah, which one is that in the menu? That is literally the one on the left. left. I tried that one at first and struggled, so I, I... It is a struggle, but it's also the best choice at first, because it's a non-element that you get from it, and a really good uh, EX skill if you're at rank B. You also get your first sub-tank in there for free. Yep. So far, this boss is being, like, not a problem at all. I yeah, still that was pretty easy. The pattern easily, then. You might also be thinking, because I'm sure the boss gets tougher on a harder ranking. So you might be thinking uh, of a higher ranking. Where... Actually, that boss doesn't change its pattern, surprisingly. It just gets a tiny bit faster. That is it. Oh, that is the only boss that doesn't change its pattern whatsoever. Yeah, I, 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 uh, the pattern was pretty easy to pick up on, because it basically does, did the same thing over and over again. Yep. So, it, I think I only took, like, one or two hits during that whole fight. And there's the sub-tank. <laughs> the, the boss just really likes his, his aggressively power walk at you attack, yeah. Yeah. There you go. On higher ranks, he's a lot faster with that attack, but... Like I said, his pattern doesn't really change up. It's the same attacks. While some of the other bosses is like, hey, here's an attack that you haven't seen at lower rankings. Uh-huh. Or That's they'll instead do two skill. attacks at one time. Yeah. Yeah, the, the increased speed might be enough to throw you off with the with the boss. Because you you mentioned him being very fast for his size. And I'm like, no, he, he was moving relatively slowly. Yeah, if you get uh, rank A or higher with that boss, he's pretty fast. And he doesn't give you a lot of time to think uh, when he throws down that I that uh, ice platform that you need to uh, break with a spike on it. Yeah, compar comparatively here, kind of a chump. Uh, I'm only going to get to start on another rank, stage for will... a little bit. <laughs> on S rank, he will immediately shoot that platform towards you, and then already throw the ice uh, the <sighs> ice ball. Ninety seconds left, by the way. Oh wow, that went by fast. Hey. Well, you know what they say: time flies, and you have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. And I got to meet El Pepperoni again, so I'd say it all worked out. <laughs> See, I was I doing my time to not understand I ninety percent of the references. <laughs> Okay, I know we'll beat El Pocahontas again. Uh, so I recently played through this entire game, so I've just been taking my time. Because I do not want to go through Zero Two again. I would rather play through Zero One again. Also, because we haven't really, because we haven't yeah. really touched on it here. Um, but similarly, with uh, when we played Zero Three, stages do have their own missions that you can uh, try to do to get a better ranking. Indeed. Yep. Because I, de I, de I definitely got a zero percent on the uh, mission ranking for um for that for the last stage that I did for the ice stage. At least my uh, at least my dash is going to be pretty normal this time for this stage. If I remember correctly, so long as you do the secondary mission and you complete the stage within I want to say under eight minutes, you're guaranteed a B rank. Right. Well, just gonna defeat some enemies and well, well my dumbass of completion would probably try to get that perfect ranking, but I would not oh, yeah, I would but... probably not worry about that in the first playthrough. There we go. Oh, oh we've hit 30 minutes. We are we are done with this game. And we are done All with right, video um... games for today. <sighs> guess what? It's time to it's time to talk about what we played here. Alas, I say farewell to you. Real quick, I will mention the only, other than 4, but 4 doesn't do rankings, uh, but 3 is the only game, only Mega Man Zero game I've been able to get an S rank in. Like, like overall or just in an individual stage? 
overall, I've been okay. able to hold S rank at least till the final boss. Yeah, because I'm like, I think getting an S rank in an individual stage isn't too hard, especially if you're doing like the intro stage, but maintaining that is probably going to be more of a challenge. But anyway, we have video games that we play today, so let's start talking about them, starting with <laughs> Dragon Power for NES. I actually forgot we played this at the start! <laughs> <laughs> that, you, you couldn't wait to block it from your mind that much. I would get more excitement from the original Dragon Ball manga, and no, not for the reason you're thinking of. <laughs> um, wait, wait, shut up, don't even say it. Like, what you, I actually wasn't gonna say anything about that, I was gonna mention the game! So the, the packaging... <laughs> I'm not holding all the time as much as you like to think I am! Bullcrap! <laughs> uh, so, the, so the packaging, to come on the packaging for Dragon Power, like, it does it, <laughs> Clearly, they tried to make it look not like a Dragon Ball game with the, with this realistic guy. It doesn't look like Goku. They failed with Bulma. And, and, and then, yep. well, and, th and then you play the game, and then you just hear them outright refer to the character you're playing as, as Goku. And it's Ooh. like, well, so much for <laughs> changing it up. Yeah. I was going to say we call him Broku, but I was like, no, wait, that's Broly Goku. The game itself was pretty ruthless. It it took a few goes at before we could make it out of stage one and basically have a checkpoint into stage two. And as Veritas was mentioning, actually trying to finish this game is good fucking luck. Yeah, considering you have an even more difficult health bar than other games where your timer is also your health. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Game no real easy to not. Game number two, Hotel Mario 2 for NES, a reskin of Crazy Castle. It's been one of those games, come on, Okami! Uh, I mean, if you like Crazy Castle, you'll probably be fine with this. I mean, here's the game. I, I had fun despite the fact that I kept getting uh, sniped by enemies. You and me both. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, was... I like Crazy Castle, so I... I kind of enjoyed it, but yeah, I, I, that really depends on if you like Crazy Castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be crazy for that. It's probably a lot easier to beat than Dragon Power. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, Crazy yeah. Castle. It, yeah. Yeah. Crazy Castle in general is not a super hard game to beat or anything like that. That um, no, was pretty good when it came that, to continues and lives. Like, I, I didn't really test this game beforehand, because I'm like, okay, it's an NES game, it'll, it'll probably, it should be fine. So when I loaded it up and saw it was basically the int the uh, title screen for Crazy Castle, I'm like, oh, we have a reskin of Crazy Castle, don't we? <laughs> uh, so, so, that, so that was a bit of a fun surprise. Okay, game number three, Sheep on Game Boy Advance. Adorable. Uh, that's cute. Hulk, this is probably the best choice you've had on that I've been around for so far. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's my first Kuso pink here, so I feel like I've been failing here. <laughs> we we said the pink. whole way through, though, that this is definitely a generous Kuso pick. Like, I was going to say, the, Hulk, yeah. over the bright side, your game was the first one to make the full 30 minutes. Yeah, this is true. Oh, you guys are all over here. <laughs> I'm Dragon. just imagining all four of us just clapping for Paul, just being like, "Congratulations!" Definitely a charming game. Fills me with shame. Definitely a charming game. Definitely recommend uh, trying. <laughs> I I also like how this. I don't know if it's what they were going for, but the box art looks like it. It's supposed to be a parody of the Beatles. Yeah. Like, ah, yes, my favorite album, Lambie Road. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I kind of like Sheep. I for a like. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Like, an old brain teaser. Yeah. I would probably pick it back up. It's I enjoyable am, a little bit. I, if, if you if you didn't look at it, I would suggest uh, scrolling up in the RBC room in the Discord and watching the intro for Sheep on PS One. Yeah. Take a look oh, at that and that. see if you still understand things. Well, while <laughs> while you are taking a knowing the stuff we find, I definitely will not. <laughs> well, while while you're watching that intro, our fourth game, Dragon's Lair for Game Boy Color, mainly can say it's a technical marvel, but that's really about all you can say about it. It's Dragon's oh, Lair. Oh, Tommy, why do you hate us? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Look, look, the one good thing, I... it's still better than the Nintendo version. 
Yeah, like I, I, yeah. I think that's. I think I'd sooner play this rather than the NES Dragon's Lair. I mean, at least you There's... can carry it on the go and make other people suffer for it. I'm pretty sure there is a different Dragon's Lair game on the Game Boy as well. I think Dragon's Lair: The Legend is what it's called. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a, it's actually just a, a reskinned port of uh, a game called Roller Coaster on like the ZX Spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon's Lair for ZX Spectrum next. <laughs> Why? There go. Get get those oh, arcade cutscenes on that old specky. Yeah. But technical marvel. Uh, but that's about all I can say for it. Like, you'll you may play this for a bit, but you're not. It's you're you're not going to be playing this for long. I mean, the thing about it is, the gameplay of Dragon Slayer was never the selling point. It no. was always. Wow! It's like you're actually controlling an animated car you know, a cartoon! It's incredible! And admittedly, mm. it has not held up. I mean, no. the visuals of Dragon Slayer are, held, are really nice. Yeah, um, laser I would agree, remember. I would agree with that, but the, the general style doesn't really... You don't really see that kind of thing that often nowadays. Well, then again, you also don't see... Uh, too many arcades out there nowadays. Like, they don't thrive nearly as much, but there are still arcade games here and there, but definitely not in the style. It's not like Dragon's or Space Ace. You don't see those getting made all that much anymore. But it is kind of... They are neat to look at from, like, a, a history of video games standpoint. Yeah, it, it's visually impressive gameplay of a shadow, shallow puddle. Yeah. Yep. It's quick time to video game. Yep. And, and lastly, Mega Man Zero Two for Game Boy Advance. Uh, it, it's sort of small, so doesn't mean I'm It has. I'm trying to think. It has El Pizza. Like I, I, I got, I got, <laughs> uh, I, I got through a, for me. Like I got through A stage, past the intro stage. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man uh, Zero games are generally told to be really tough, so getting through a stage is an accomplishment. In, I'm in, gonna tell you, know. you, the first four bosses, the first one on the left, and the basically Firebird, the third one, those are the two hardest bosses throughout the game, pretty much. Yep. Noted. Yeah, I was in the fire the area four. before time was hit, so yeah. with a little bit more time, I might have gotten to take a swing at that boss, but alas. Oh, you'll get your swing eventually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, probably. you have a chain rod. Of course you're going to take a swing at it. Yeah, there you go. Uh... All right, <laughs> let's, let's talk rankings then, starting with Beak. All right. I'm going to have to put in a tie with Dragon Power and Dragon Slayer. You know, double dragon, you can even say. Uh... <laughs> uh... Well played. Well played. Uh, Power. I I can control my character at the very least, but it's not great knowing that Noku's health is practically also your timer. Noku. And Noku <laughs> does not show up often. Meanwhile, you've got Dragon Slayer, which looks beautiful on a Game Boy Color, but quick times. No. But you could I can at least give it. A slight edge over power for one reason. If you ever think about things Don Bluth made, we also remember he made a troll in Central Park. I, and I think that I made go. Dragon Slayer the better project by default. I, I yeah, think I, I got to say everyone in it remembers Daphne. <laughs> I, I think I got my copy of Dragon Slayer in like a like the Game Boy Color version in like a mystery a lot of Game Boy games, so that's how oh, I nice. uh, that's how I got a copy of it. And we nice. continue. Uh, next up, I'm going to give it to Hotel Mario 2, because it's definitely a nice ROM hack, though you will get sniped a lot, especially if you don't know Crazy Castle, but this one is a fun time! Not to mention, it, the graphics that they use gives a nice comfy cozy feel, with all three NES Mario games being put to good use. Even funnier when Mario's uh, death sprite normally is also his victory sprite, while he looks <laughs> in front of you, ready to give you a vibe check! <laughs> and then Mega Man Zero Two. I won't state the obvious on my end, but I think I have gotten better at it since, as in 
the first stage didn't kick my ass numerous times. Might have been a mistake going into the ice stage first, but that's okay. What matters to me is that I got to meet up with El Parallelogram all over again. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the clip I have on my channel, thanks to Beak Beak, I'm gonna laugh at those every time. <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm legally obligated to at this point. And then number one has to go to sheep, because look, look, they're so cute. I just wanna take care of them, even if they don't listen to me. They're so cute. You get a little doggy who's also so cute. And, you know, <laughs> I feel like Big Bang is having a hard time with sheep, guys. Definitely, definitely. I hope you to find the bark button. <laughs> yes, I know what the bark button is. It's also your drop candy button. Now, come on, little spork. I need you to eat this candy. <laughs> I felt I did genuinely like sheep. I liked it much better than being put in the shuffler because I actually had free control of that of swapping without my consent. Yeah, yeah that makes yeah. a big difference. Yeah, you generally have a lot more appreciation for a game when you can play it in bulk instead of just playing a little bit of it and then, well, it's gone. Let's see how much I remember next time we get to see it. Uh, anyway. Man's Zero One is torture anyway. That's why I put it in your shuffler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, Flame Blood, your yes. rankings. Okay, uh, my rankings. Sheep at top. I know, it's not Mega Man Zero. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> sheep, at, <laughs> sheep at the top because I generally was enjoying that game and it was actually going through it pretty fast once I got a feel for how the sheep move. <sighs> so I definitely enjoyed it. If I ever want like a classic brain teaser, I think I'm gonna pick that back up again. If I ever get to, I might stream that game in the future when I have a better computer that just just for the heck of it. Uh, next would be Mega Man Zero Two. Boy, who saw that one coming? <laughs> Say <laughs> no one ever. Now, I was mainly just goofing off in Mega Man Zero 2 because I recently played through the entire thing. I I would rather pl play through Mega Man Zero 1 again because the, the things that they fixed in 2 are not the things that needed to be fixed. And I hate the chain rod. I'd rather just have the Buster and Z-Saber. And the shield boomerang, I never find a use for that, so screw that. <laughs> and nobody ever does. But at least it's a game I can play through and beat. As for the rest of the three games... <laughs> <laughs> th uh, third is definitely going to Hotel Mario 2, because, well, I could actually play through some of that, and if I took the time, I could probably finish that game if I really wanted to, but I don't hate myself that much. But then again, we still have Dragon Power yeah. and Dragon's Lair. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Power is going to be next because at least I could actually play through some of that and get through stages. And I was... When it wasn't getting completely the bullcrap, I could go through uh, Dragon Power. It wasn't the worst thing I've played, but definitely not, definitely not even a mediocre one. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Uh, and Dragon's Lair at the bottom. I don't think I need to explain myself on that one. Okay. <laughs> and for yeah. the most part, my list is going to be mirrored. I'm probably swap Dragon Power and Dragon's Lair personally. I'd at least give Dragon's Lair fourth for my own list because I, like, the, the oh, technical... God. Being able to see something like this, um, I always like looking at technical marvels, like games that just look incredible given the hardware that they're on. And I think Dragon's Lair does fit that bill a bit. Like these are the kind of cutscenes that you don't know. Like, could you imagine playing Dragon's Lair in the arcade, seeing these cutscenes and going, there's no way they could fit something like this on a Game Boy Color, right? I mean, obviously, <laughs> obviously they. They don't look no anywhere near as good, but they still look pretty good for the hardware, which is why Dragon's Lair at least gets the fourth place oh, slot. Yeah. But yeah, Dragon Power is rude. Hotel Mario is a reskin of Crazy Castle. Mega Man Zero is uh, pretty good. Um, Mega Man All Zero. All things considered, anyway. Mega Man games are usual, usual at the very least passable. Um, and Sheep is mm, probably not something you would expect, but here we are. Normal Dang. game. Alright, Polk. 
I've been rolling in my head here because I know when my top two are gonna be here, no problem. The the bottom three four kinda of cycle back and forth here. Um but they gotta go at the bottom place here, Dragon's Lab's gonna get it. For sure it's a marvel that tries his best to recreate the original game and the feeling of it, but it's relatively short. It's kind of brutal, and you'll be going back to that this screen so often. So can't see exactly the grade of variety to it. Number four, um, I'm gonna go with Total Mario 2. It's a reskin, this crazy castle. It can be enjoyable here, but uh, it was also in the the momentum physique that you have to toss yourself on a cliff in some direction. Oh, yeah, not exactly happy with that one. Yeah. Dragon power. The, Dragon Power is just rude, it is hard, it's heavily based on the RNG that you're gonna drop with enemies that don't tend to respawn. That's a problem, but I can still have some fun with it. Um, number two, I gotta go with Sheep. Surprisingly solid on the part here, and it's so sweet it'll give you diabetes just by looking at it here. Yeah. No, no feeling sheepish about it. I mean, how do you think I felt when I was explaining my side? Uh, what can I say? It's not a bad game. Yeah. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I'm putting Mega Man Zero 2. It's a personal one here. It's one of my favorite in the series here. Not as good as 3, but Zero 2, still good. Fluid gameplay, solid combat system on it here. And I love the story behind it, It's in which we don't get experience here. But still, I like it very much. Someone who understands me. <laughs> All right. And, and uh, lastly, Veritasu. Oh, man. I, I'm i still not entirely certain about the the bottom. I, I think... They're all horrible in their old fashions. Okay, I'm going to decide this in the most logical way possible. Rock, paper, roll scissors, scissors, and rock. Let's see, tails. No, I'm sorry, heads. Uh, Dragon Slayer is at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you on the, I'm with you on this, Okami. It is a technically impressive game in the sense that they managed to crush down those laserdisc scenes into something that fits the con the structural confines of the Game Boy Color, and that is playable and can recognize it, but it's Dragon's Lair. I'm sorry, it's still just Dragon's Lair, and it's missing the one thing about Dragon's Lair that makes it, you know, really neat. Uh, so it's gonna be at the bottom. Uh, Dragon Power... I think I have a soft spot for Dragon Power, just because it's like, every time I play it, I just can't help but laugh at the fact they just took Dragon Ball and like filed the serial numbers off of it. It's like, oh, here's a game. <laughs> the one thing it has going for it, we took it off, but here you go. Um, it's an experience. <laughs> um, third is gonna be uh, Roger Rabbit. I, I mean, Bugs Bunny. I, I mean, Mickey Mouse. I mean, Garfield. <laughs> I mean, Woody Woodpecker. I mean, Hotel Mario 2. Um, it's uh. <laughs> it's a decent reskin of it. Uh, I sometimes question a little bit the level design, but in general, it's 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 crazy castle and the castle I enjoy. So it's, it's fine. Uh, I think my number two is going to be Mega Man Zero Two. It's it's obviously very nice looking it plays well the big thing is i just have not been able to really acclimate to the mega man zero gameplay uh and that's partly due to just lack of experience i feel like if i was more experienced with it i'd probably be number one but because i don't have that it's like eh, it's a little it's a little bit hard to get into but, uh, but yeah, still good. I mean, it, it's a Mega Man game that's not Mega Man X8. Um, <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> uh, but anyhow. Uh, and number one is Sheep. Uh, I remember that from the, uh, it wasn't because of Granny, it was the Shuffler. 
And I remember that was actually enjoyable. I had to relearn the controls every time I came back because I couldn't remember what things did, but that's a really fun little game. Very accessible and, and cute as all get out. Uh, so yeah, Sheep, number one. Sheep, good video game. All right. Hashtag Games. Sheep Sweep. Wow, and when was the last time Polk's game made it top on everyone's list? <laughs> um... <sighs> What's the price you did your feet? Less than I should. <laughs> Man, I have to look at a poll. Uh, we we I... love you, Paul. Don't worry, bud. Man, I have to look at a poll <laughs> list of games. But anyway, we're gonna get out of here for today. What do people have going on in their stream? Speak, do you have anything to promote? Uh, just my retro achievement speech. You know, the thing that keeps breaking every time. Well, not my page, luckily, but just RA in general. So is that a community thing? Is that a site update thing? Well, let's just go ahead and say all of you. Yes, I gotta, above. I gotta go fix that Nightbot command. <laughs> okay. Maybe uh, it's a good thing I haven't started retro achievements. Oh, I'm going to make you play it. <laughs> I just <laughs> leave the way <laughs> at you. What are you I'm dead! <laughs> All right, Flame Boy, what do you have? What do you have going on? Uh, nothing this coming Tuesday, as I did a, a actual scheduled stream last Tuesday. So this Tuesday is going to be nothing. Uh, next Friday, I'll have another short stream going, whether I'm on RBC or not. Doesn't matter. I just have short ones going before RBC. Uh, and then the tu the Tuesday after next is when I'll have an actual uh, stream going. I think I need to check dates again. Hold on. Sorry. I'm not meaning to... Actually, no! Alright, uh, no, this coming Tuesday, I'm gonna do an extra stream, because I actually will not be able to do anything on the 22nd. I've got D&D &D that night, and I'm hosting. Ooh, and I can't stream that for a few reasons. Uh, mainly because my computer just borks. So yeah, extra stream this coming Tuesday, actually, and then Friday, I'm probably just gonna do more stuff. I'm probably just gonna do Starbound on Fridays at this point. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, that's it. What do you have going on? Um, still on the little games as per usual. Usually, if things go as planned, it'll be on Friday, Saturday, Monday, and Tuesdays. The birds are all busy during this weekend, folks, so we might not have as many people. We may need to do some shy tracking, possibly more shuffling, and possibly more crimes. Well, disease nest crimes. Um, I will also point in the direction of the Cusa Grande GM matches, where you may find me spotlighting once in a while, if possible. If not, all my games get vetoed this time. Yeah, Polk, did you get a chance? Did, did you get a chance to see the end result of the uh, of a uh, Kid Clown when you submitted that? Because I got that done. Ooh, I need to check that one. It did not I last long. Oh boy. Um, That's yeah, I can also I can also vouch for the GM side of things over on Kuso because Polk and I are both uh, occasionally giving out games. As uh, yeah. Polk gave out Tri Rush Deppy for Sega Saturn earlier today. Yep. I, I had si five other games just before that, Aaron. Nope, nope, nope. nope I got to give out nope. Lucal for for Game Boy, so my mission's done. <laughs> oh, boy. And you made a strong enemy that day. Anyway, anyway, Veritasi, do you have anything going on? Uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be doing more Tears of the Kingdom, uh, and probably trying to kill three, three King Gilocks at the same time, or on the same stream. Uh, the Sunday is more Dragon Quest Seven. Uh. Dragon Quest 7, are we done with the prologue yet? <laughs> um, Monday uh, will either be just another Tears of the Kingdom stream or I'm going to be uh, playing River City Ransom Underground with uh, uh, Demon Werewolf. Not entirely certain. And Tuesday is Anime Night over at the Discord where we're Still watching through Lyrical Manaha Season 3. And, all right, for, for my part, gonna be trying to get more Yakuza in. 
uh, tomorrow, since I actually managed to get some in last Saturday, and that was nice. Um, the big thing, uh, that I touched on a bit earlier today is that Tuesday we start Tears of the Kingdom on my side. I was sitting on Tears of the Kingdom for a while, didn't get around to it, mainly because, um... I had to play a lot of Tears of the Kingdom because I was uh, one of the testers for it. Uh, so I got burnt out on Tears oh. of the Kingdom, so now that I've had time to let it sit for a bit, we're going to be visiting the game and seeing it in its now completed state, so it, might, it may end up being a breath of fresh air for me. We're going to have to find out. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Cool. We're gonna get out of here. Thanks everybody for coming out for Retro Book Club. We'll be back again next Friday for more questionable games, probably, if we're being real here. Good night, El Paisanos. See ya, everybody. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>